The thoughts, views, and opinions expressed by this podcast as well as its hosts are for entertainment purposes only. I repeat, it is not serious. It is not real. No one is exposing, revealing, indicting, or telling you anything about themselves. Also, we do not encourage you to try this at home. We are trained professionals who do not have your best interests at heart or our own. <laughs> Enjoy the show. You think I like, nigga, you me? up. Like, you look good on, on the joint. Last year, you look good, right? Are you picking on me? Like that. Nah, I like it. <laughs> I like it. that. I love it. Turn us on. Turn on. I love it. I love so you. So listen, about Flip's contracts. <laughs> I love yeah. it. Listen, we got we to gotta straighten this out. <laughs> no, we <good>. On air. <laughs> on no, air. No. In front of the <laughs> no. viewing audience. No. Nah. Do it here. Round of applause. He finally, he finally looked good in one situation. Round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot me in the back, nigga. My shit bulletproof. Bow, 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 bow. You the man. Round of applause. He finally looked good. It's me against the system. Oh God! Nah, please. Here we oh go. please! The system brought and you too, Paul. Come against you too. The system Come brought on. you to WWF. Shut up, nigga. <laughs> e, <laughs> WWE. I wasn't born for WWF. Well, Parks, I was. I was Parks. You, you dress like the old Parks today. Yeah, back, back to my black Levi's. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know if it hit the same now. Now yeah. that you nah. Now that you P class. Now you got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if it's it the same. It don't. It's different. Them jeans is, is like real black. They're not backpacker <laughs> digging in the crates black. <laughs> They're not actually, black. They wasn't folded. And you doing that shit to, to your head that the white people do when they get money. They start putting that special moose. moose. Like, the moose? They start you putting that, ch- that little moose in the front. <laughs> yeah. How come when white people, white dudes little, get money, they start putting the moose in the front of this shit? Superman man. curl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got you. Parks Clint. Park what? <laughs> Park. Oh my God! <laughs> no, he didn't. That's your oh man, my. that's oh. your man right there. You oh. just left it up there, so. Oh, Yo, man, Geechee told guy. that nigga, my mom got it out the mud. I looked at her like Superman, even at her lowest. That easy told that nigga. That oh, well, that was hard. All right, well, that yeah. easy line was hard. Yeah. Easy tried to fight back. He tried to fight back. He didn't. Wasn't enough. But it wasn't enough. That line was hard, but it wasn't, it wasn't enough. enough. We're going to talk about it later. <laughs> now, Ish said, what you said, Ish? What? You don't remember. Ish said <laughs> what? That, that we are uh, pod pussy. He wants to see how we address the easy versus Geechee situation. Yeah, and but he said it like he was chumping us. Like, yeah, I want to see how y'all handle yeah, that one. Nah, yeah, we know why. But why are you saying it like that? Why? Because of the relationship with Ram, nigga. Who give it up the most on this pod? Come on, y'all want to have a real pod on not Wednesday? You, not you. Who not give you. it up the most on this pod? I didn't say it was me. It's six people here. Who but give it up the most? We eliminate you. Who give it up the most? <laughs> he ain't even in the, he ain't in the county. He's still laughing. He can He can Give it the most. In what regards? Oh, now it's, don't worry It's different it. category. Worry, I give it up the most. He give it up the most. Oh, everybody the most. No, you don't oh, give it up like the most. like when it's 20 rappers in your top five. I got it. Everybody give it up the most. Nah, salute. Nah, that's real shit. Big Mel, huh? Hey, hey. <laughs> Howdy, what's that shit you said? Hootie who? Hootie who? Hootie who? <laughs> Hootie who? Pass right, that man. Dutch. Pass who, that Dutch. Who ready to part and give honest opinions? Right here. Who ready to give honest opinions? Right Honestly. Here. Right here. Honestly, real shit though. Right here. That's all I do is give my honest opinion. Y'all just hate it. Mm. <laughs> yeah, this nigga's a troll. I hate this. Yeah, yeah, me too. Me no, too. I'm talking about you. Not you. I'm oh, talking about I'm you. You see my man alone. I didn't even do nothing. Y'all I'm on your ass today, nigga. Can't be. Can't be. <laughs> Send I'm me home. A, I'm in such a great mood. Positive vibrations, positive affirmations, positive frequencies, high frequency. We staying away from anything low vibrational. Mm. So a few of these niggas crashing out, looking bad out here. <laughs> Let the crash outs crash out. We just going to vibe out and have a good time with people we care about, True. people we love. We're going to end this year strong. It's the yes, fourth sir. quarter. It's no time for games, bullshit. We want to make sure 2023 was as fruitful as we planned on it being New Year's Eve last year, man. That's where we at, man. If it's not positive, if it's not with love or from love, even you niggas that hate me, y'all got to send that message through somebody that I love. It ain't going to get to me. It's going to have to come with love to hate (laughs) for me to receive it. Like, oh, where he said that? (laughs) <laughs> I'm in a good mood. Shut up, What's up? I'm in a good mood. I'm in a good today. mood, yeah, in a good mood today. I had a good sleep. I had a good sleep. Same old mattress. Same old mattress. Good sleep today. All right, hold up, man. These people waiting for a pod. These people waiting for a pod. Let me start with some inspiration out here. I found out that I am 1% black from this ancestry DNA test, and I was like, 1% black DNA? Like, how could that have happened? Um, but it is a mouth swab test. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> Come on, man. What's up? Great. Come on. Get alive in nice here. Intro, get alive man. up in here. That was a good intro. Get man, alive up in here. <laughs> feeling good. Feeling great. Still got some of that weekend energy on me. Yeah, you know I mean. That's right. My girl on FaceTime, you been out every night. You fucking right. You fucking right I've been out every night. Shaking a tail feather, getting jiggy with it. We had a good time Saturday night a little bit. Come you know I mean? out all night. Hold Facts. up, man. What part of out all night they don't understand, man? I get home when I get home, ma. Huh? <laughs> get home when I get home. I text you. I know. If I'm not too tired. Sound good. <laughs> Pod pussy. <laughs> Duh. Duh. Enough of that weed. Snooze your buttons. Sparks. 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 All right, what episode is this? Flip and Mel. Mel, Mel, Mel. <laughs> Flip and Mel. Mel, Mel. <laughs> 659? That's right. Welcome to episode 659 of the Joe Button Podcast. I am your humble, gracious, grateful, well-rested Re-energized, rejuvenated host Joe Button here with a few of my nearest and dearest. Big Mel is here. Don't y'all ever get that fucking confused out there. Uh, Fuck is these niggas talking about? Huh? Flip is here. Ish is here. Ice is here. Parks is here. Poe is here. Corey is here. Ian is here. Erickson is here. And that's everybody that's here. Gentlemen and lady, how are y'all doing? How are you feeling? Talk to the people, man. Feeling good. Well, Talk to the people. Feeling great. Yeah. It felt like um, for some reason I was saying that this morning. Even though we was just here, it felt it felt like a longer break. It did. I don't know what it was. It just felt like it I ain't, was outside. I ain't think, oh yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. That's it. And there you go. Been outside a little bit. Uh, I'm done though. That's it. Shut up, I see. <laughs> I'm done though. What do you like? What done for the year? You can't be done because you ain't been to the spot with your girl, right? Me neither. I've been with my girl. Oh, not again. <laughs> no, I haven't been again. We we got to fix that. We got to fix that. Me too. Mm. The spot. Mm. Oh, the spot is the spot, though. The spot is the yeah, spot. Yeah, y'all making it sound real hot over there. Yeah, it's about yeah. to be a fish grease. Can't get in there, though. So oh, it's cool. Man. Uh, how's everybody's weekend? Come on, energy up, energy up. How was y'all weekend? What did y'all do? What did you learn? Who did you see? Who did you text? <laughs> what did you do? Come on, I seen you. Let's go. Big mail. <laughs> Big Mel. Was that outside lit? again? I Come was on, outside it's the lit. again. No, it's the lit couch. I was outside again. I went to um, Harlem. I went to a block party in Come Harlem. Come on, man. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. Big Mel be outside. Yeah. I do. Outside, man. I am having a good time Hi, being me. back in New York. A good summer. Yes. Shout That's right. Mel. Yes, yes. It was really, really great. What'd you do? Uh, I went to Harlem, and there's, um, uh, it's it's called the Soapbox Presents, and they just have this, you know. No, I mean, did you bag anything up, man? N no, I didn't. Ain't bag nothing up? No. Ain't bag nothing no. Like no, I was just in the streets dancing and shit. That's, That's the easiest that, way to bag that, something. I couldn't bag nothing. That's usually, you were hot. We got to get some, uh, what's that, that WD oil? WD-40. <laughs> <laughs> we got to WD get some WD-40 for the little squeaky. For the move. It was very coupley out there. Uh, it was very coupley out there. So, uh, you know. You want to wreck, uh, wreck any happy homes? No, so, not at all. Or be added to. Why, I gotta, why does it have to wreck? True. That's true. Yeah. Polly. We got to change those that conditioning. Yeah. It don't have to wreck. It That's could true. be a, a merry time. Me. Yeah. And the home might not have been happy. Hey, listen, I wasn't willing to find out. I am, yeah, not a guinea pig in this situation. I just went to go have a good time, and I did. Well, good. It okay, I'm glad. So, Older crowd? No, it was really, really mixed. It was like, there was young kids, people in their 80s, and everything in between. Just dope, nice. It was just nice. so dope. Yeah, Man. yeah. That's beautiful. It was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Harlem. That's dope. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Home got a couple of dollars now, too. Yes, it is. It's it's very gentrified. Different, yeah, it's different. So Extremely I'm sure gentrified. Okay. Yeah. Well, how, how was your weekend? My weekend was well. My anniversary was this weekend. Happy so anniversary. Come on, give it up. Oh, come come on, on, give it up for that. How many so, years? Ago? Give it up for that. Uh, Fifteen. Fifteen years. Wow. Yes. wow man. So you know, tell them how it's done. That's fly. <laughs> so I went out. You know, went out to eat and have fun. You know, just spending time, phones down, and just, um, you know, quality time. Yeah, appreciation, understanding. And being you didn't back, create any content. No, getting back to square one. Sure. Did, did, did you break the bank for her gift? Uh oh, I did, I did. But you know yeah, that's you personal. No, no, no. I wasn't. I, 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 that's all nah, I wanted. You're my man. You're my man. Oh, I, you know. I, don't, I, I don't feel like I want to divulge too much information on the podcast. But listen, no, what, that, I, what, no, I, what I want to say, pardon me. What I do want to say, <laughs> hey, yo, Kevin, 
from Starless. Them star tenors, the new ones, is not looking the same. I mean, he may be cool with them, but I'm not. Um, we have to talk. You can't replace Bernice and them girls just like that. I think they need to go to some type of star tender school. Um, I'm very dis- not disappointed. Salute to them. They is what good. you did for your anniversary? Is not, nah, nah, I'm just saying, <laughs> not the same. I just saw it. I, it could be I came across this, it. This podcast, <laughs> because I got so much good sleep, we're going to clear a few things up. <laughs> Get your shit off. And this is one of them. When is the last time you've been to Starbucks? Oh, man. I've been there recently, very recently. Well, when, though? I don't have to share that, but that's too personal. Explain. It's too personal. Explain. <laughs> well, what night? Because you know it's different girls that work on a different night. But Star Tennis was just one group of girls, though, um, Joe, at that time. With Bernice, on a Sunday uh, Sasha. Night. Sunday. It on was, Sunday night. It was Bernice, Sasha, Lonnie. But then those crews graduated, and you got they to did. fill them in. So they got, they got different groups of Star Tennis? Yes. I didn't know that. See, thank you for putting me on. That's what I'm saying. Some you got PhDs. In here. I apologize. It's my fault. You come in and start talking shit to the niggas. I got to see this. <laughs> Yo, your man, your man flip. <laughs> now I'm getting pat down when I, when I go. Now I'm waiting in the line. When I lift I, your foot up. You do that. I, yeah, lift your foot you, up. You, you, you could have did that on, on uh, black and white person. Black, what? You could have did that on. Whole, you got that letter I sent you? No. <laughs> my person don't send over the same person again. Yeah, it's affecting my business. It's affecting my business. It's affecting my business. It's affecting my business. Yo. You got that letter? Can I? Oh, man. Can I? I'm on, Yo, what is wrong with I'm, I'm trying to get a lawsuit. What is wrong with A cease and desist. A cease and desist. The only problem with that is you don't know because you just got here not too long ago. I don't check mail. <laughs> like, where would it come? To get a message to me, it got to come through love. Through love. Oh, boy. It can't come through the fucking mailing system, an envelope, a bill, a cease and Salute. assist. Imagine niggas trying to hit you about money you own through the mail. <laughs> a piece of paper. Yeah. Uh, hey, put that in the shredder. No, I find out about the money I owe when it starts affecting real life. Like when the child support took my passport away. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> got, got to pay something now. Uh, let me take my ass on down there. Oh, I need a birth certificate. Let me hit Wall Street again. Like a stupid. Go in there like a goofy. Right. Okay, yeah, I got my birth certificate. Yeah, you are an adult. <laughs> that shit feels so goofy when you need crazy. your social or your birth oh, certificate man. again. Yeah. That's when I find out when they cut the phone off. <laughs> then I call. Yeah, word. You right. So, my mom so, does not understand that's that. That's so ignorant, my, yo. my mom don't Mine understand I don't either. My mother be like, uh, all right, mom, send in the, I'll, I'll pay it. That shit is terrible. Good weekend. Your 40s is where you got to have some of those conversations where you and your parents might be at an odds. They don't understand. There's some shit that they don't. Parents be so responsible. My mother be like, uh, yeah, the cable. I'll be like, oh, my bad. (laughs) (laughs) My my bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, about two hours. Yeah, mom, I'm not doing auto pay with AT&T because of what Easy Pass did to me. (laughs) I mean, if you really want to have the talk. Easy passes. Easy, easy pass. passes. The thieves. The easy passes. They need the a Rico. They need a Rico. They, need a Rico. they, they really do need a Rico. They and, do. and a doc. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And a doc. I'm with you. I want to I'm see, with you. I want to see how you did it. Because <laughs> how'd you do that? How did you get that off? It's, hey, you go through them. The, they turned that missed toll into ninety eight dollars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's yo. still it still want the toll. Yeah, yo. Ninety eight thirty five. Seventy five cent. Don't forget you pay the seventy five. Like yo, dog, you ain't pay the administrator fee. You be like, nigga. <laughs> That's a shame. Like, Knock your fuck. That's a shame. We been scammed all out like. there. How was y'all weekends? Come on, how y'all doing? How y'all feeling? Uh I ran around. Did y'all do anything fun? Um, I went to Virginia. So I was running around. I caught a seven o'clock flight to Virginia. It was my aunt's seventy fifth. Hey, happy, happy birthday, birthday. Auntie. Oh, happy Auntie. birthday. Auntie. Happy birthday to Auntie. Auntie. Come on. I had to get on a 6 o'clock flight Sunday morning. It was my daughter's first birthday, so. What? Oh, come, on, man. Man. come on, man. Come on, man. Yeah. That shit costs. Huh? That, that shit different. Yeah, but the love for our ch- children is mm-hmm. priceless. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's priceless. You, you always spend on it's that. It's a price, though. <laughs> yeah, but you, that's Ferris a price. Ferris wheel, gelato, truck. Talk about it. All like bo- <laughs> Yes, I it's made a, a childhood. Okay. Yeah, yeah, hey, you know, it's cool. Yeah, this hey, is. Yeah. <laughs> Look, yeah, here comes Jade the jail man. Oh. Here comes Jade the jail man, Corey from I'm, the side. Yo, I'm with him. Jade the jail man. I'm with him. Dog, that shit is different. <laughs> I look at what whatever Jade the jail man birthday. say. We got to do the opposite. JJM jail man. Yo, no, I'm Jay with him on that. J- oh, yo, dog. yo, you only get to skip the first birthday. That's the one where you could say. All right, they ain't gonna remember none of this shit. No, so that's we, the one that you spend just, the most on. Yeah, yeah. that'd be the one. Why? Because well, it's the one. first. Well, that's if you don't wear the pants in the house. 
Wow. Oh, well, I got on. Well, if, if that's y'all story, then that's y'all story. Call me skirty, but <laughs> that money came back. You call me whatever the fuck you want, dog. If, when you wear the pants, well, did y'all pay for it? The first birthday party? What the fuck you you think it was free? <laughs> and they might have went I didn't even know they had all this shit. Balloon lady. <laughs> you gotta get a generator. I'm, I'm only talking shit. I'm only, I'm only, I'm only, I'm only know, talking you, you shit. shit was extravagant. She went crazy for one. Yeah, yeah. for birthday number one. One is crazy. Son. She had whoever them cartoon niggas was pop up in the living room. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they start doing dances. I'm like, yo, it's midnight. When are they getting out of here? When does this party end for a one for a one year? The party not even for the kid. Yo, they having children it's not older for the kid, though. Yo, but I, our shit was catered. Yeah, man. it wasn't. For no, the but kid. with a lot of food, it wasn't the catered where when yeah, it run no. out of food, it's over. Yeah, <laughs> but you're having you're having children. Char, what's that shit you like? Charcuterie. That all that bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> you're having children as old. Yo, you was right about us. Yeah, <laughs> Char, I'll eat that. Oink. What the fuck are you talking about, bro? nigga? I, listen, when, when my son was born, I was broke. So it was different. That happened to that oh, That get, got money, so it's a little different. Get this transformer in Niggas, shot. Get, <laughs> get a little cake from Carvel. And back in the day, <laughs> the ice cream bullshit. Matter of fact, Pat, Pat, Pat Monk. Pat Monk was over back then. Yeah. Let's go to Pat Monk, go to the frozen like section. Soup. I'm walking around the house for the, for, for the one-year-old for the one year birthday party. I don't even know what you call that shit. For the one-year birthday, one birthday party. One-year birthday party. I started nigga. looking around. I started noticing all the, all the kids in here from her side. Yeah, oh. All my niggas just up in here chilling, smoking <laughs> weed in the yard. <laughs> L- little man. That, my cousin came with her kids. Thanks, LaShawn. But yeah, that was her family. No, she you know them Spanishers. Yeah. <laughs> they, they do the fucking. <laughs> <laughs> they the ones that really. Set money up. <laughs> and they throw the best parties, though. And they parties and, don't stop. And they that parties don't stop. No. They I'm don't shocked stop. that she ain't. You, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's coming. Yeah, Big parks. No, Big know. parks. You might be. Yeah, <laughs> it's coming. You got big blanks. parts. <laughs> yeah, so bless. No, yeah, you might. So this weekend for me, we'll get into some uh, topics. I'm sure soon. This weekend for me was all about team building. <laughs> you know what I mean? Me what? and my man Big Ice tore it up uh-huh. Friday team night. Team building with what, what, what? I don't understand what that means. He, he must be the quarterback. You start with the quarterback and yeah. <laughs> work your way down. At, at what point you did I say we're starting with like the top or like a hierarchy? I mean, you just said team building. This pod stuff can get something. Yo, yo, yeah. You ought to build the team. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a bunch of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all, so y'all. you was hanging out with your man. Just say I was hanging out with my man. Y'all know that in team building, you could speak to people individually. Absolutely. Or hang out with them individually, Indeed. and it still counts to team building. True, right? true, 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 true. Respect. Then why y'all got your panties in a bunch of it's true? <laughs> Never. It's a podcast. True. No, put some downy in the dryer. <laughs> the quicker. Put some downy up in there. Yeah, reduce straight, the static a little bit. Straighten that yeah. shit out y'all doing. Did you have fun during team building? Oh, no. We had a blast. We had, we had a really good time. Then I took my old, old ass to bed. Hmm. I think that's one of my favorite parts of the 40s, too, is just like going to bed after the dinner. It's like, that's just There's a some vibe. cheerleaders working for the team? Oh, I, I, don't, I don't even understand this misogyny. What you, like, what you <laughs> like, what do you mean? Describe your misogyny. Yeah, There's some joints. This Saturday, I stepped out for my man E birthday. Facts. E. For my man E birthday. Oh, that was forgot. that was nice. Left there, did some team building, me and Parks yeah. and Queens. Yeah, we had to go, um, you know, see some local uh, establishments. Talent. Yeah, yeah. Talent. A little talent scout. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. You said team building. Team you know? building. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, it was That's nice. It. I had a real good weekend. Plan B. B sides. Sure. Oh, and yeah. it's my mom's birthday. Happy birthday, Happy mom. Birthday. I Happy love birthday. Birthday. I love you. We yeah. love you. Hope Why you your enjoy it. All my socials and she mad popular. <laughs> yo, that's yeah, your mother be having 900 comments. I'm like, yo, dog, was she a rapper? <laughs> yo, my mom lucky doing? I don't really be on Facebook. That's what I'm learning. Like, my mom is popular. Yo, she's popping. I knew that she was popular, yeah, yeah, but, yeah. like, she kind of popular, popular. Yeah, she be in the hood. I told you, I see, it, when me and you wasn't speaking, I'd be like, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, my dad started and I liked that shit. <laughs> <laughs> He never really could. My dad is more low-key, not into all of the fame and yeah. notoriety shit, but now he start, think weird things are happening now where, like my dad says, what list they just put me on? The big list. It was a big list. The complex list. one? No, the one right after that. Oh, uh, Bill- Billboard. Billboard, yeah. Billboard. My dad found some tab, according to him, where it starts talking about like my parents and shit, and according to him, it just say, my mom name. <laughs> And he's tight about it. But he keep mentioning it in a dad type of way. But he want me to go see it. 
<laughs> and he's starting to get mad that I ain't even went to look for him yet. <laughs> he got a reason to be tight, though, because you're a junior. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm laughing at. Was, <laughs> yo, like, I'm like, dog, I am a junior, but you don't care. You want, yo, fix it. Somebody call and fix it. My older brother on his birthday, when I called and said happy birthday, he was like, yeah, dog, go ahead and post that picture, though, on Instagram, because niggas think we not. It's like, ah, I never thought of it like that. All right, you're right. Then I went to see, we ain't really have no pictures. We took a bunch of pictures at my mom's dinner, birthday dinner. Uh, my mom this morning. Do get them young. Happy man. birthday, mom. I mean, that's cool, son, but go ahead and post that. Go ahead and post that up there. Like, <laughs> like, oh, shit, it's a thing. Word. It's a thing. No, it's a thing. Yeah, I got to say happy birthday to my mom. Come too. on, Her get birthday it was yesterday. Let's go. Happy Big birthday, eyes. mom. Mama Ice. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I'm birthdayed out. I I'm, told my mom, I'm, and I'm, I'm birthdayed out. Enough mother, of it. I'm, I'm waiting for Halloween. Bring on the hoes and the skimpy outfits. <laughs> Please, <laughs> hurry up. Hoes, hoes, save us. The oh, nurses, mom, mom, all mom, mom, mom seen a couple changes. I'm like, yo, mom, which one for your birthday? A bag. Excuse me? Uh-oh. What? What? Uh -oh. what? 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 You, you don't even wear a bag. I, I, I seen this nice pink bag I want. Come on. What, what kind? It costs. Come on, get that little, what is it, Terry? Did she say what? Terry, uh, Terry, she what's her name? <laughs> Terry? What? No, I'm, we talking two different bags. Not outside the bottom what's, bag. What's Terry's name? Terry Mueller? Terry McLaughlin? Y'all know Terry? All right, forget it. Oh, Mugler. Mugler. Yeah. Terry Mugler. Mugler. Okay. Come on. Yeah, help me, mm. big man. Yeah. There you go. You Sorry. know your shit? I forgot. Is it a right, so is after, it so, so after you got the bag. Oh, no oh, so after you got the bag, she was happy. So the gifts come. <laughs> she know you got it. The gift that keeps on giving, nice. No, nigga, it's just mom. You gotta just go get it. You and shut up about it too. Yeah, I ain't it. said nothing. You just did. I didn't say a word. I didn't, I'm not complaining. Okay. I need a longer break between mom and woman. Like I skipped Libra, and then we got to get right back to Scorpio birthday shit. Nigga, I had three weeks. I didn't time it out. I didn't time it out. <laughs> I had three you, weeks. You ain't time it out. I didn't think when you about was that part at all. Yeah, yeah. It's like fantasy draft. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah you out week six. <laughs> you gotta check the bye weeks, pick man. Up you ain't check your bye weeks. Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all out too many bye weeks. I had three weeks between my girl birthday and my mom birthday, and then Christmas coming. This is bull. They got Christmas shit in the stores already. Mm -hmm. This is bullshit. To, trying to decide if I want to celebrate Christmas. Salam alaikum, my brother. <laughs> You gotta stop that half Muslim shit you do. You gotta stop being half Muslim. I'm not Muslim. Because the streets figured out why you half Muslim. Tell me why. I can't. I'm not Muslim at all. They figured out why it's half though. I'm half Muslim. It is half. You'd have to answer for some things. What's the half? <laughs> Come on. No, no, try to make me say it. No. Uh -uh. Not me. No. Uh, so what's important to y'all? What's important to y'all? Anything in the world. All this shit is kind of funny to me. Well, not all of it. Nah. It's all not funny. No, it's not all funny. But we can start with music. We could. Yeah. Y'all had some real passionate takes off mic before we started. Mm -hmm. Well, you know. That it seemed like y'all wanted to address. So we can start with you guys on the newer couch. Mm. Friday's music comes out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We pod on Fridays. We do. Mm -hmm. So we don't really get an opportunity. Well, y'all do, because y'all will wake up at 12.01 and listen to some shit till y'all fall asleep. Facts. Or stay awake till it comes out. That's, I know. Yeah. I, on the other hand, listen to it in the morning. Okay. So I listened to the Puff album on my way to work, mm -hmm. and I came in, you know, it hit. But then over the weekend, you know, I'm riding around in the boonies in Virginia, ain't no fucking radio, I got to listen to Puff. Well, there is a radio, but you just don't listen to the station. Yeah. And, and okay, be careful. no signals. It's got it. WKRP. Anyway, yo. <laughs> <laughs> so I am. I'm, 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 I'm riding around in the, in the boonies, listening to Puff. Mm -hmm. Were you in your car? Nah, I rented the car. What kind of car? Cherokee. Okay. Grant? Yeah. Current? What year? 24. Okay, current. All right. They can't do that by law. Anyway, yo, stop your fuckery, bro. <laughs> so I'm riding ask. around listening to Puff. The music is amazing. The production is amazing. Somewhere along the lines lately, songwriting is starting to be trash. Mm -hmm. So Puff album, sonically, is fire. Mm -hmm. When you start listening to it now, you got to hear the words. Mm -hmm. The words is like, yo, fam, what we doing? What song in particular? All of them. All, oh, damn, near all, <laughs> damn near all of them. Again, sonically, the production is fire. The beats are fire. Like, it got a bop to it. Mm. So when I first heard it on my ride to work, you know, it's, you up-tempo, we, we rocking. Yeah. In New York, New Jersey. Yeah. Mm. Now I'm in the Virginia. Now you're in Virginia. Yeah, and in I'm in Cherokee. And my sentimental shit, so you, I guess, so in by New myself. York, New York, New Jersey, you was in your car? Yeah. I'm nice driving. car. Sorry. 
Driving to no, work. No, it's a nice car in town. Oh, boy. Anyway, yo. So right? then you took it to the Cherokee. What color was it? Black. Black, black, black Cherokee black, 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 in black. Virginia. Yeah. And it sounded different. Okay, I'm, I'm receiving it. All right. So it's just the songwriting nowadays. Because when you keep listening, now you're going to hear the lyrics more mm -hmm. than just the bop, the melody. The, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Songwriting is starting to be in. Damn, I'm the, I'm the exact opposite. I went back over the weekend and listened to the Puff album. Mm-hmm. And really like digested the album. I was like, oh, this shit is hard. Like much better than my initial just breeze through. So now nah, again, sonically it's good music. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It really is good music. You could listen to it, but in R and B you be kinda I wanna and yeah, music period. I wanna hear the words. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it it left a little bit in the words. I understand. You if, disagree? If you could say if you could say if you could send one message to Puff right now about the album, what would you say? Puff is Puff. Like looking at out. Puff is Puff. You can't say looking much to Puff about right music there, ass. Too. What I'm telling you is <laughs> But you asking me if I disagree, why one hundred percent disagree. Really? But songwriting has evolved. So I I I'm not mad at your take because you kinda had we joke about it a lot. Remember when Neo came? You kinda said, yo, some of that new stuff. No, we need Neo school. back. Like Neo's a writer. Like when you hear the shit, yeah, but you told Neo, you that told shit was Neo trash. that I did not. I didn't say anything. We don't have to get into that. But Neo you is didn't, one of my favorite you didn't writers. Praise bro. him. I think that that "Don't Love Me" record from Neo is is classic Neo in terms of penmanship. I don't think it's a. When take, he got here, I'm just talking about some of the takes you had when he came. It was like you, there was a problem with some of that modern style writing. So now we get to Puff. For me, what that exists, they can go back and I reference it. I didn't say it. that, yo. But go ahead, keep going. You so that's fooling. what I received I from it. You that's what you, I took. Yeah, word. But let, let me talk. Funny. I don't want you to keep stepping I'm be on the my third take. One to say I took it that way too. Yeah, yeah. And I Fourth. come on, don't step on my take. I'm getting my shit off. <laughs> with the, when it comes to the Puff album, there's a lot of modern style writing, like track one with the Dream, who is right. one of the best songwriters in the world, is modern. Track two, that young lady's a writer, uh, Nova. That track is modern. Jazzy, her tracks are modern. Sway Lee is modern. She went crazy. But Babyface is writing on this album. <laughs> Bro. Like, her is writing on this. The her song, I listened to SZA, it Jasmine. It like. You got it. I'm just saying, there are writers that today are regarded as top of the top mm -hmm. on the project. Production, Stevie J, salute. The production Ste Stevie, is Stevie, come amazing. on, man. You don't, you don't miss. And rest in peace, uh, Irish Grinstead. We should have started with that from 702. Rest in peace. Rest, in peace. Rest, Rest in, in peace. Rest in peace. Love you. Miss you. Condolences and thoughts and prayers to the family, friends, and loved ones of that young lady. Mm -hmm. uh, way too young for that. Also, do uh, my man from Jagged Edge got in that bad car accident. Mm -hmm. Let's start loving on people. Let's start loving on people. But anyway, yeah, I just think that there's a lot of modern style writing on the project that if it ain't for you, it ain't for you. No. Every time I listen, it gets better. Really? Every time I listen, it gets better. Like that stay record... Sounds like to me, if that's a Drake record, if Drake is on the first verse of the Stay record and Puff is on the second verse, then that's part two of loving you no more. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't loving you no more. That becomes part two of that. Like I hear, I hear where some of these songs could have gone. I don't like the Weekend record. I stand by that. The Tiana, I love all the records. I do. I skip that. I skip that weekend record, and I don't hit a skip again until. Damn, I don't really hit a skip again. Yeah, I don't hit a skip again. Mm. That's me on Puff, but they've heard enough about. No, no. It's, again, me I'm not. From, from I'm not Puff. anti the album. I like the album, but again, lyrically, even I, I, I'm, I'm riding around again, Virginia, my sentimental shit. Mm. I popped in the Cleo Soul shit. It's it's a it's a. What's wrong with this one? Sound the last song? Cleo Soul album was a different level. Like, that's a different bar. So I don't know if you could just keep hitting that bar. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? But this album was a drop-off to me. Cleo Soul Lyrically, seems it was a drop to be off. in that. I'm not mad at this take. Uh, I'm not mad at this take at all. This album was a step back. Cleo, Cleo Soul seems to be in that parent it was mode, a personal. It was kind of parent personal. mode yeah. of mm, album yes. making where yeah. this is for me and what I'm mm -hmm. going through right That's now, true. and I don't want to hear. It was real shit. personal. It was a real personal album. She didn't jazz it. it up enough for me to want to hear. That's true. Some of that shit, and but heaven is fire. And she's great. Track she's three great. is fire. Is. Track five is fire. There is some heat on there, but is. overall, as a project, I understand yeah. what you're saying. 
That, that Puff album is so hard. I text that nigga from the strip club. <laughs> I text him from the strip club and said, dog, this album is too great and you are doing a disservice to not do an interview talking about this music. Mm. You talking about everything else in the universe. And there's no piece where we can hear about the thought process behind this amazing music. It's a travesty and fix it. It's Puff, though. Get it done. Get it done. Like, that nigga's ear for music is... I walked away from Shorty with the ass. You know how goofy I felt? <laughs> I go text a nigga. Shorty with some ass. She had a partner with her, too. Hey. <laughs> Hold on. It's Puff. Let me walk outside and look like a fucking... Well, yeah, that was important to me. That's important to me because I love music. Uh, did you, you listen to all these albums while you was in Virginia and the Cherokee? Did you get a chance to listen to, check out Nas? I did mm. not. Good question. I'm going to do better. <laughs> <laughs> so you listen to all the albums you missed except for Nas yeah, I'm do you think that people from this podcast all of us here do you think that any of us should review or be able to give our thoughts thoughts toward an album without having heard it no no uh -huh. mm -hmm. that's like unfair, unfair. Right? Mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. I did that well when I was listening back to the pod I was like when I played some of the songs I like like you shitted on it no, and it was like that's not well what I'm playing songs I like. Here come, here come narrative Nancy. What happened was oh. you played the song, that song, and I'm sitting here and I'm watching everybody's review and I was minding my business and I starts laughing at me because I'm sitting here like... And then, and then the song stopped and you called it ass. I said, yo, yo, ish, go, ish. I want. That don't have nothing said, to do with your Y'all sitting here saying all this stuff and that song was just okay I'm just to me. saying. I didn't like the lyrics. Y'all start dissing me for not liking the lyrics. You, you made a joke about the second grade. And then I said ass. that shit was, the ly yeah. lyrically that song was caca. Yeah, but there may be some songs on the project that could be. you like. Could be. No, but he said he liked the second song that, that you, you played. No, he didn't. He called that shit ass too. No. He said, I don't know why no, we I was didn't. hyping it. No, he I said, didn't. I didn't. Then he said, thank even, you. Thank then he you. said like, even the Wayne verse wasn't all that. No, I, I said, didn't say that either. Yes, he did. I listened back. <laughs> Yo, Joe, what the <laughs> I just finished listening to <laughs> no, that. Said he, wrong. He said that he liked the second song. I said that Wayne verse was fire. I didn't say that Wayne verse was bad. No, he did say it was bad. He said it was bad. He said it was hot. The you Wayne verse. He said it wasn't I even asked him. I said, Yo, the Wayne verse was fire? Yes. He said, What are you talking about? That Wayne verse was nuts. And the second Nas song that y'all played was better than no, the first. Listen, I see I, what you're doing. Stop. Doing I see what he's doing, too. Stand no, you're antagonizing people. Stop. No, here come the, here come the Patreon. No, no, Yo, no. you old ass nigga. You don't know nothing about no fucking. You bum ass Jersey hey, shit. Well, so, that's applicable with anybody. If anybody here gives a strong take about an artist, that artist fans are going to shit on you. That's a fact. Week. That's true. So that's, that's not true. specific that's true. to that's true. That's true. you and Nas. No, nah, again, la the last Nas project, I listened to it. Mm -hmm. Remember? Sort of. It was all right. <laughs> the last one I listened to It's fine What Magic 2 Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got Okay Mag The third Magic is much better than Magic 2 I think you would actually probably enjoy it And you said the first one surpasses both of them That's still my favorite yes Got it What else is there in music that is near and dear to our hearts and also souls Also in music real quick Since we talking about going back listening to shit I went and listened to that Slime You Out record Really Cause you know we did it real quick We did That record is trash Sorry wasn't that your take last week? No, I was. Eh, it was I liked it, was cool. it when I listened to it the second time. It, that, that is not a first. And I listened single to record. it. It's a weird first single for sure. That record is. I yeah. liked it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a weird first single. Okay, it's not really. Song I don't again. see it it's picking it. up like. It's not like it. it should. That is not it. It's at not all. It. It's not. It's not it. Not even a little bit. Nope. And he pushed the album back. He mm. did. I, I don't even care no more about none of that. <laughs> I told he, you it was going to be when the tour is over. He's Kanye. Just drop it. But he's not normally Kanye. He's not normally Kanye. Because this is the same person that was on tour back in June and told us the album was done and coming in a couple weeks. Mm -hmm. Now you're... No, he's full of shit. Not, yeah. Something is going on back then. Mm -hmm. And this has indeed probably been... You're hearing people say this, this, has been, this has been his worst rollout of all his album releases. No, I'm telling you, normally when he puts shit back, it'd be like a week. Yeah. But, I mean, in his defense, this is the first time he's toured. He put the heartfelt letter on Instagram saying... The city, I'll, I'll be back. And this is the first time he's toured in however many years, six years, however many years it has been. He's trying to get an album done on the road, which you know how that is, trying to get anything done when you're on the road. It's hard. Then don't say it. Drake is too much of a scientist to scream from the stage that album is dropping in two weeks and yeah. it's not drop. Don't say it. Nah, I feel like he had a couple of good nights in the studio and thought it was going to get done, and then he just started mm. being like, mm. Man, you don't say nah, it. Nah, his handlers would stop that. Somebody would stop that. They're not going to let him be irresponsible. You, your voice is too much of a weapon. I think something happened. You think it's business related? Yeah. It, it would have to be, but I don't think it's personal. Gotcha. 
And yeah, you're right. The touring shit is hard. It's hard to get the shit done when you're on the road. I think that's all it is. That song. I think he had a couple hot days in the studio. Like, oh, I could get this done while I'm on the road. And then he got to six, seven songs, and it was like, I wonder. I wonder if he realizes how important of a project this is for him. I think he do. That's why he pushed back. Why would you say that? (laughs) Huh? Why would you say that? Coming off. I think it's impactful if this is not good. Yes, I agree. I think it's impactful this time if, if this is not good. Mm. I don't think he's had an earth-shattering he, album He ain't really had time. that since Views, Views, and I did that, and Views was successful, and it was sh- good shit on there. If this is, like, deemed as not the greatest, the same way that single wasn't well-received, it wasn't well-received. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It wasn't. That single remind me of his intro to whatever album that was. All of the school kids gonna be friends no more. Like, it's beautiful music. And beautiful harmonies, but then I ain't want to hear that shit. And then SZA got him out of there. Yeah, I, I bought it and haven't played it since it came out. And that's I don't. That's unlike me for a Drake release, especially a single yeah. leading up to the album. Mm-hmm. And now I got to talk to Yachty because why Yachty tell me you could put that? Come on, man. Who's over there? Uh, green lighting, green lighting some shit. Green, green lighting Drake. Green lighting the records. Green lighting Drake. I put out what I want to put out, nigga. Better shut up. Right. You better shut up. Nah. Listen, he could do what he want. That's true. He could do what he want. Yeah, but I think he knows it's a lot right on this album. He know. All of the greats have fallen off and then came back. He's one of the greats. I'm going to shut up, though, because I don't want him to start dropping less frequently. <laughs> <laughs> they shit it on his little disco album. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What was the last shit he came out with? The 21 shit was hard. That worked. The CLB I might, album. I might have took a break after that one. But yeah, C, uh, uh, CL, yeah, the Dark Lane. Wait, there's been a few of them. Yeah, yeah, it's, been, it's been a, a run. It's I'm been a run. You, it's been a run. It's been a run. Kind of. <laughs> right. But he's, that's the boy. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> now, for every, eh, he's also giving you a record or a song or a verse. Yeah, there's, Wait, there's something in there. Something in there. So it's not like it's just been all. Where do we stand on this Drake Holly Berry stuff? For those of you at home keeping up, uh, the artwork when the new SZA Drake single was teased was a clip, old clip from the People's Choice Awards of Holly Berry getting the Nickelodeon green slime Slime dumped dumped on on top of her. Mm -hmm. On Instagram, you don't need rights uh, or licensing agreement. You don't need any of that permission to promote, so that's fine. Uh, But according to Holly Berry, She's pissed because she asked him to not use that picture at all. He, she, he asked her if he could. Mm-hmm. She said no. And then he went ahead and used the image on his Instagram. I also want to note he did not use this image on the artwork for the song. I purchased the song. It's not the Holly Berry picture. Yeah, it's just the album cover, right? So, yeah. So where does everyone stand on Holly Berry versus Drake? Why would he use it? Like, why bother... Calling asking. and asking to use it, and she says no, and he uses it anyways. Then why bother fucking calling her and asking her? I, that that's so annoying. Did he? I stand in it. I agree with that. See, I, I'm a little different because I, I need to know the details of their conversation. Did he say I want to use this as my artwork? And she said no. She, and, he, and he says, okay, fine. I'll just tease with it. Bottom line: the Still use, the use, the artwork. use of the photo. It's not as used as artwork. Then it's totally not. Yeah, it's a, it's it is not media media promotion. Yeah. It's just a picture on Instagram that's been out there. It's not the artwork. The artwork, if you go buy that song right now, the, the picture I, that his dog drew came up. I agree with Ice. I think that him asking was for the legal side of the actual artwork for the song. I, I, don't, I don't think that either. I don't think that she owns it. Because she don't own she it. She doesn't. Getty Image that, owns but that's, it. But that's not the point. He could have easily purchased it or purchased the rights from Getty Image and used it. But mm-hmm. she said no for my artwork. I'm not going to use it for the artwork. Now, I think he's wrong because she wasn't saying no for just the artwork. Yeah, she, she yeah, was no. saying she didn't no, want the photo used at all. Don't use it, period. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you posting on Instagram is different when you have 145 I million followers. Say, right. mm-hmm. It's public artwork at that point. I don't want well that picture it. currently used to promote me or my likeness today, especially not from someone as famous as you. Exactly. That's I think true. that's where their disconnect was. The photo was from 2012, and everyone's like, oh, well, it's a public photo, and it, you can Google it. It's just like, exactly, the, but it's like, 11 years old. Who the fuck is Nobody's going? Googling yeah. Halle Berry at the fucking Nickelodeon, Nickelodeon Awards sure. getting slime. No uh, one gives a fuck about that. But now it's like back into the public conversation because 
he went against her wishes. Like, why? I hate when people do that. Why bother asking me if I, you're going to do what the fuck you want to? The masses anyways? don't even know that picture exists until now. I right. agree with y'all. I still throw Holly Berry should shut the fuck up. <laughs> what? I'm, just, I'm here to be honest today. Why though? I did think that Holly should shut the fuck up because we never hear from Holly Berry. Okay, True. right? Like there is this actress status, mystique. Yeah, that mm. that she seems to hold it down on. Her name. This ain't the first time her name has popped up in some shit, and it seemed like she only addressed shit when it could look a little cloudy. Not like, even why, a little why bit. Why do the? Can I finish my Sorry. point before I'm interrupted, Miss Ford? Sorry. Like, why does a strange fan commenting under Instagram get your side of things? I'm going to disagree anytime that happens, but I understand that that's Instagram culture today. But that's corny <laughs> when you're Holly Berry and you succumb to Instagram culture. I mean, it cannot be cloudy. I think it's corny. It can't be cloudy if they're using her picture. She can say whatever she wants. How, how is it not cloudy, cloudy when Drake's using it's, her it picture? Is. Her it's image, super her cloudy. Her image, wait, wait, wait. It is. Her yes. image was I'm, used. One don't negate the other. It's one nigga trying to sell something, trying to gain all the weirdness, yeah. so he's going to be a cloud chaser. And, but she has. We to don't respond. know her to be a. I don't know her to be a cloud chaser. Okay, so do so you, you do you follow Halle Berry? Halle Berry on Instagram? I'd have to look. Okay. I don't have my followers memorized. Well, I follow Halle Berry. <laughs> oh, clap! No, uh, no. <laughs> and so Ooh, well, you got me. <laughs> no, my point of saying the fact that I follow Halle Berry is that she is. I understand you saying you know she's not known for clapping back and making these public proclamations, et cetera, et cetera. If you follow her, no, she's spicy. She responds. She responds. She talks to fans. So if people saw that dialogue between her and a fan, she actually responds to people. She engages with her followers. Melissa, mm -hmm. people engaging with their following is fine. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about you engaging in some Instagram comments that's not on your But page. if she's used to doing it, but, but if, she's on brand for her. If, yeah. she's, if she's used to doing it and it's on brand for her, all of the, yeah. the only reason that it got blown if up like that, because it's Drake. There's nothing y'all can say to make me think that that's on brand for Holly you, Berry. You don't follow you don't her, follow so you wouldn't see her in comments. She's telling you it is on brand. I'm telling you. She does this. You're telling me about her social media behavior, and I'm talking about the brand. I'm talking about the brand of Holly Berry. So I'm saying on brand for her on social media. If Mel is saying they're not you the same, you know, bro. Just what do you know? Just do, what, stop. How? Time out. Acknowledge what I'm saying, so we can have an intellectual debate. I think. Do that, you know that? Do y'all acknowledge that they're not the same? No. No. Why not? Because they're one. They're bleeding into each other. The area is super gray now, and a lot of you know older celebrities are starting to understand that you have got to participate in social media to a point that may not have seemed, you know. Um, I guess poised Mel, or you know Mel, what I'm saying right, or but professional not, at, at, you're right, at but an that's earlier not their, point in your career that's not their brand Dion Warwick, part of their brand. Dion Warwick is going crazy on Twitter it's a part of their brand with though. the tweets right it's not their whole y'all right. are telling me that somehow that's a part of Dion Warwick's brand Dion Warwick for the last 70 years you stuck on some social old school shit social media question. has all yes, it's a part of the brand now. Of the that becomes okay. a part of your brand if that's oh, what you now it's a part of the brand hey, yes, they, they get in with the times I yes some old school shit that's what friends are for shit no <laughs> y'all couldn't that's, <laughs> that's, that's not times. a part of nobody's so, that becomes a part of your brand it does look it does not become a part of your brand you're talking about the legacy Joe we're talking about the A-listers in the fucking world y'all telling me how to respond to their Instagram comments. So, 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 so uh, I'm not receiving to that. To a younger person today who don't know this A-lister, who don't know much about them, but they, this is what, they get everything from social media. So for, D, for your Dion Warwick example, that's what they see. Dion Warwick going crazy with the tweets. And then they go back that's and look. That's on the brand. That's or, on or, point. That's, or that's, your brand could pivot and you can start doing certain shit today. You yes. might not have responded or you to add on to your brand. You want, you want to Now you take it, um, you purposefully start to interact with your fans, and that starts to be. You become on brand known for that. that. I'm looking up brand, so okay. I don't have to go by what y'all are saying. On brand. On brand, yeah. Oh. Because I, I said on brand. brand. That's what started this. Okay, on then brand. That's not replying to what I was saying then. You there's, there's but you replied to that's me. Not replied I said there's, on brand. There's very, initially. there's very few A-list celebrities or legacy acts who do not participate in social, social media, media and actually interact with their really? fans on that's that level. That's not true. Like, that's not true. Okay, will, that is not a fact. I'll, I'll give, if that's a fact, then I want you to submit evidence to prove that that that's not a fact. Yeah, I would. I, would, I wouldn't. I don't follow that. any of them, but I would think that they would be. What is not a fact that, that? But I could be there's wrong. There's some A-list celebrities that don't engage she, in social media. She follows. There are them. millions of A-list celebrities that do not engage in none of that shit. There's also a large group that does. 
But there's no there's no uh metric to show that hey most of them are doing that. Yeah, there's nothing I don't, to show that. that I don't do you know? know but that's do you, how, that's uh, hold on, do you know a lot of the A list celebrities do not control their own social media? You you are aware of that, correct? Yes. Okay, so if they don't control their own social media, there are some that actually control it and are communicating with the fans, and there are some that has it that doesn't control it, and there's a whoever fucking person they have in place. I feel like we're going in circles. My point is, I think when people hear the name Holly Berry, mm -hmm. young, middle-aged, and older, there is a small niche group that's associating any of her social media behavior with her name and her likeness. I agree with that. That is my fact. That, okay. That's what, that's what now, I'm saying. What I was initially saying was, like Mel said, she follows Holly Berry. She does this. When I said it's on brand for her, that means it's not outside of the norm now for her to be responding to, to somebody who's following media. her. Gotcha. That's yeah. what I mean by on brand, not her brand. Got it. So yes, that would be. You're on looking brand at the legacy, and I, I get what you're looking at. Like it's corny. The, the, the it's optic, it's corny. It's, it's corny for him you. to do yeah. it. It's corny for her to do it. I, I think it's corny for both of them. I, I get I, what you're saying. I think if you did it, no shot at you. No shot would be funny, but if you did it then it would be different if she responded to you. This nigga is mega of mega, and you personally asked me for my, posi I mean, for my permission to do that, and you just disregarded what I asked you not to do and did it anyway. Yeah, but that's her POV. From his point of view, I didn't disregard it. I didn't do it. that. Now you're playing semantics. No. Words mean Words. things. There is a difference between there just a, posting on Instagram versus putting it as on, on a product, yes. attaching it to a product. For we, sale. We don't know what the conversation was. That's but, why I started. But I, but I think I that thought we unpacked exactly where their misunderstanding came. Got it. Okay. That we, don't know, we don't know because we don't know. Did he respond? We, we weren't privy to their conversation. It's clear there's a miscommunication, and that's what it was. That's it. That's it. Okay. Hey, you said no. Don't use it for the artwork. I didn't use it for the. Artwork. I don't think that that. I, we don't. We don't. We don't. That we don't know. Yeah. We don't know. Well, but well, from what she said, from, you called and asked me, could you use it for the artwork, and I said no. Yeah, we only going off what, and what, he did what not use know, it for the artwork. Mm -hmm. That's we just those are the facts. Okay, I guess you said it, no I, that I guess, I guess in that artwork. situation it is a splitting hairs because maybe she didn't understand the difference between artwork exactly. and promotion Correct. or whatever the case is. Correct. She just was basically trying to say, please don't use, don't use the photo picture. at all. Don't use that one. Don't use that picture yeah. at all. And he said, okay, well, you said no to artwork, but you all didn't right, say well, it. Well, I'm not fucking you, and you don't own it. True. Okay. Yeah. Respond to that. <laughs> Come on, sir. I don't. Since why does, since why does fucking have to have anything yeah. to do with it? I don't, I don't, agree with don't ask me if you're gonna do it anyways. Yeah. Don't you, fucking ask so, me. Because again, now this is my opinion. You're playing some. Well, we had this conversation. Halle the other Berry. Day. Hold up. Halle Berry is damn near. How old is she? She's like uh, 56. 50 something. She's 56, damn near 60 57? years old. So when you call somebody and say, "Yo, I want to use your picture for artwork," and she says no. She might know, not know. She's not a musician. She may not know the inner workings of like the difference for between your album cover yeah. we versus. This. Okay, so cool. When she says no, she's not she's not wrong for being upset. When you call me and you ask me, do I have clearance to use your shit? And I say no, and you do it anyway. I have a reason to be upset. Hey, look, if he, if he really saying that she don't, if he really you wanted, just said I ain't fucking you and you don't own it, so fuck you. That look, don't say that you don't have a right to be upset. You be upset no matter what. You said what. she's corny for being upset. Though. That's not what I said. I said she's corny for responding to the fan on Instagram with this T. That's gotcha. what I said. Got it. Okay. If, if he really wants to be. Dickhead, she could he could have bought the shit and still used the artwork. Yeah. It, like, it, it would have been I, a being a dickhead. That's what I'm saying. All right. We we we, we could agree to disagree. Yeah. Okay. Well, he, he clearly didn't give a fuck about that <laughs> shit y'all Evidently. About. That's I mean, so so, it sounds like it's all on brand for his album title. It's for the dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this ain't for... <laughs> but they look at me crazy when I say we not, I'm, we not fucking and you don't own it. You don't think mad scientist man played it out further than that? Well, what you gonna do if I post on Instagram? <laughs> she, she gonna be mad. <laughs> okay. Ooh. <laughs> Holly, Holly's mad. Well, I think that's disrespectful. Like, I think that I, I, I think that that response is so disrespectful. I mean, to tell no, you. Yeah. Like, yeah. why? You know what? We keep going in circles, but I just think it's so disrespectful. Don't bother asking me if you're going to do what the fuck you want to do anyways. And then you're going to, you know, just, oh, you're mad. And both, and then chastise me or, like, gaslight me, basically. Oh, the fuck? Whoa, whoa, oh. wait, wait. <laughs> oh, that word. Getting out of there. Word, what does he say? He hasn't, he ain't Drake said hasn't said anything. What, he doesn't have to say it. So how's his he gaslighting? His, so his, his silence is gaslighting? His actions did all the talking. 
Oh, oh okay. okay. When he when Respect. he went ahead with the picture. Yes. I see what you're saying. Okay. But that's basically, not, how's basically, that gaslighting? Basically, though? I don't give a fuck what you. But that's not gaslighting. The ga- no, the, the gas. No, the no, the gaslighting is basically. Why ask me if you're going to do it anyways? And then the fact that I'm upset about the fact that you went ahead and did it anyways, but you asked me. It's almost like. Not it's, almost like when you because I don't know. Maybe it's I don't not know. Almost like, maybe I don't so know he, what gaslighting by him, means. By him, by him not acknowledging. I don't know what it means. Corey, you stop from the side. I don't, I don't, maybe I don't know what gaslighting By him not acknowledging her feelings, that's a form of gaslighting. He just, he's quiet. Mind his business. But he never but the, said her but, feelings don't exist. But to me, the silence is, is basically. Gaslighting. It, no, it's basically a, a huge response. Yo, I'm telling the women out there that are listening. <laughs> me not giving a fuck about your feelings is not gaslighting. That's just me not giving a fuck about your feelings. No, why Why mm. do you think... Turn up, Mel. Why the ask... The song starts, I don't know what's wrong with you girls. <laughs> I feel like y'all don't need love. You need someone who can micromanage you. Not girls, but, right? Huh? It don't start out with girls, right? Don't say what's wrong with you bitches. Oh, maybe. Yes, it does. Why ask if I'm going to be upset about... Why ask she if I'm going to use the photo? Version. Why ask if? Why ask to use the photo? And then if I say no... I'm sure that there was a conversation about her reasons for not wanting to. We don't know what the conversation was, but she probably had her reasons for saying no. Mel, everything you're saying is right. I'm just saying it's not gaslighting. And then going ahead and doing it. So you basically say, mm, I don't give a fuck about your feelings. I don't feelings. really give a fuck about your feelings. That's not that's gaslighting. Not gaslighting. That is so disrespectful. Okay. Disrespect and gaslighting is different things. That's though, not, not gaslighting. Okay. Okay. okay, then let me remove the gaslighting and just say that it is fucking disrespectful. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, remove the gaslighting and it's disrespectful. His silence is also disrespectful. Respect. Shout out to Mel. Stand on it. That's right. Okay. For the dogs. Yeah, but you're biased in this. Why am I biased? No. Nope. Why is she biased? Why is she biased, Joe? No, why is she biased? Why? Because it's how. Why? Because I'm. A, it's a woman. Yeah. I'm a woman. She a she's woman? a woman. No, that's another bias. But no. What so why is she biased? I don't know. No, you What's do next? know. <laughs> why am I yeah, don't, biased? Don't let go of this nigga. Don't let go. Why is she biased, bro? I don't know. <laughs> Blue. I think that you have some Omaha. <laughs> <laughs> Omaha, twenty three. Omaha. You just speaking at, speaking about this with uh, Blue. Ten- a tenacity. <laughs> Blue forty <laughs> two. Oh man, I'm trying to get you out of here. I can't, well, look, you can make it look at you. Make it look at you. <laughs> Omaha. I'm out of there. Oh man, I'm out of there. Yeah. Hey, if you know, you know. I am fond of both people that we're talking about. Is that what you're talking? Is that what you're alluding to? Oh, I see where you went with it. <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, 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 kill, 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 kill. Yeah, she's sitting here doing all this shit. Like, come on. Why are you speaking so aggressively to your brothers? <laughs> then it hit me like, oh. <laughs> Got it. You got it. Got it. You, got it. you got it, big dog. No. <laughs> I want to know. Too bad. <laughs> got Are you remember. drunk right now? We got to remember. Oh, no. Oh, my God. You can't say that. For the viewers at home, salute, salute. Patroni, what's good? Shout out to y'all. Oh, man. Great segue. I'm figure out how to make this thing a more She'll interactive. catch you. She'll catch you later. They're going to hold up. She caught it out. She ain't slow. It's far from. <laughs> she ain't slow She said it more like this. No, mm-hmm. no, 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 no. She no, caught no. it? Oh, please. <laughs> please. Mm. Got it. You got your glove mitts on. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You I be just here. pulled up on that picture yeah. the other day. You signed that NDA mute up. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, what, what, what did Gigi say? Nigga, duck at least. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, duck at least. Nigga, duck at least. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. What y'all got? What y'all got? Oh, Holy shit. shit. Nigga, the duck unpackers, the least. unpackers strike again. I forgot about that. Oh, oh man. Yeah, no, that shit was crazy, yo. That was crazy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what you thinking? <laughs> that NDA shit fucked up. <laughs> what y'all got? Her legs stop shaking. Oh, nigga. Oh, shit. <laughs> Big man! Oh, don't move, don't move. What else, what else, what else is important to y'all? What else is important to y'all? Um, did y'all, did y'all see um, Offset and Zoo? Zoo. Talk to right to my Queens analyst. There we go. We got yeah. all, we got all yeah. bases covered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All bases covered at the, jo- at the JBP. Listen. Talk to right to our Queens analyst, Queens Flip. A lot of people have been looking for me to comment on this, and I don't know what they want me to say. What'd you say, Pop Pussy? 
<laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no. I'm asking you something. I don't. Is that the term that you yeah, said? Yeah, it was. All right. Is there, is there anything else in music? Uh, I'm real sad about uh, winning time being canceled. Me too. Yeah, that's fucked up. They started kicking up. Yeah. Like halfway start, through the second season. Better. It's starting to get better. We're just seeing Pat Riley become Pat Riley. Pat Riley. And, and now they're pulling the plug on it. Why? Well, they kept right the viewership. Ratings. The ratings. Mm. The ratings. Ratings and viewership. I it think, don't look like a cheap show. Nah, no, no, and I think the success of last year, I don't, I don't think they necessarily marketed this the best. Because, yo, yeah. a lot of people don't even know the shit is back on. We do because it's what we do. But a lot of people don't know that that show came back on. And niggas love last season. Isn't that part of the um the strike, too? Because I was saying, like, actors can't promote. They, they can't do that interviews. They can't promote their shows. They can't do that type oh. of stuff. Mm-hmm. So that could be what. I never put two and two together. Yeah. Yeah, that could be it. So the people on the show can't go do nothing. Can't True. do no press that runs, nothing. Yeah. It's all word of mouth. And, I mean, HBO runs around like HBO. So they're not going to take... However much money, put it in a budget to go promote these shows across platforms. But, but under these particular circumstances, you may have to do that. Man, they don't give a they fuck don't care. about this show. And they don't give two fucks about this show. You don't think? No. no. Wait, why do you think that? Why do you think that? They didn't even let them finish the season. That's why. Uh. They pulled you niggas at episode seven. You can't get to eight. It's over. You won't even see an ending to this. That's why. What do y'all, what do y'all see no, that no, I no. need to look at? No, I'm saying that... I. I, I you saying HBO don't give a fuck, meaning like they don't give a fuck if the show was successful or not, or that's what. Or they, they don't give a fuck. I don't think that's what success of this show affects. The bottom. The bottom line, of course, is HBO. I'm just saying, but they could have potentially got three or four seasons out of this show mm-hmm. if the ratings and the numbers were up. I will say that even internally, like I watch a lot of HBO shows, and a lot of them usually they have the trailers at the beginning mm-hmm. of other shit that they got going on mm-hmm. in the network. I don't think I really saw this even promoted in that manner, in the way that other shows Same. are, like. Um, uh, what's the shit? The zombie shit. Walking Dead. No, the uh, the. Oh, um, the, Last uh, the Last of Us. Last of Us. Oh, Last of Us. You saw that. You that knew was that was coming. That was. Yeah. I don't say, but even before that was, that was out, you knew that was. You're coming. right. I never saw any ads like right. in yeah. the, in but the Last beginning of Us shows. Was a hit. Even yeah. success. Yeah. Succession. But even we knew these, that these was are coming. hits already. But season one of Winning Time, they did. They did a lot more. They did. They did. It looks. You knew it was coming. You did not know season two That's was coming. True. That's what I was saying. Until like, it was here. But then I said the stuff about the strike, and I was like, man, maybe the, the two are, you know what I'm saying? They coincide. And it could be stepped no, on. Yo. It could are, be stepped on, honestly. Winning time came out. Magic went over to Apple with yeah, the shit like over it. there. He yeah, didn't like it. Yeah. And it could be some money back at play. I think, they knew this was, I think they knew this was going nowhere before the season started, which is why you didn't see them pushing it through their own channels in the same way they did with season one or other shows that it's they possible. have on the network. That's possible. For them not to even finish, finish the season, the season they don't give yeah. a they fuck about what's going on and I think, winning time. And I think the shit is hella creative. Whoever thought of the uh, the manner in which they did it, because mm-hmm. again, it's, it's mad comedic. It is. You know what I'm saying? It's satire, but it still covers the actual shit. Even when Magic will just look in the camera and be like, this is some bullshit. Like, right. all of that shit was mad creative. Whoever their writers were, I think, did a great job. It's a great show. And I'm directed not- it, put it together. I think it's awesome. I really enjoyed the show. I wasn't caught up, and I can't say that I will be now that they took it off. I'm phony like that. I'm going to still finish up, but... I'm phony like that. I don't give a fuck. I haven't watched it this season. Y'all not getting another season, another episode. You ain't getting another ounce of my time. They said that the uh, the, um, the viewership, was, it, it dropped tremendously. That's why. They yeah. Well, it. Again, a lot of people didn't even promotion, know the show was coming back. Yeah. Does, promotion gotcha. affects that. No, I see, yeah. <clears throat> Niggas didn't know that show was coming back. You know, I just said that. <laughs> I know you're Googling and shit during, but I said that. Right. It's cool. Um, <laughs> what? That's a shame. So to everyone involved. With the I ain't hear what you say, bro. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I ain't say nothing. I ain't say nothing. Yeah, shout out to them, man. Shout out, shout out to them. His word. Yeah, even when you open up Max and they put all their main shit up at the top and mm-hmm. you slide, man, that shit was like the ninth slide. It really was. Mm-hmm. That shit was. They wasn't messing with it. Damn, man. Well. Gotta play the song. Yeah. Gotta play the song. Yeah. Man. Man, I don't want to do it for what we like. They taking Blur. good shit from us. John C. Riley is amazing in that show. Who the hell is that? Um, Bus. Oh. From Step Brothers and all, all of that them. shit. All of them are good. <laughs> Another one by the dust. I mean, you might as well keep that on loop because Russell Brand <laughs> and took his whole shit. His YouTube they podcast. Everything. Yo. It's a dub. <laughs> <laughs> Who's yo, Russell Brand? He's stupid, yo. 
Russell, Russell Brand is the British yeah. actor. He was in Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Uh, I, don't, I don't can't remember what Come other on, movies he was. He was in a lot of them. Some shit. He I was in like, this movie called Get Him to the Greek. He's a stand up uh, comedian. He's a comic yeah. first. Mm-hmm. And then he was big in, in your. Um, the UK. Over there as a comic, like mm-hmm. a stand up comic first. Then he started the breach. He was up, married to Katy Mar- Perry. He was married to Mar- Y'all Mar- loved Mar- Russell Brand. We know the fuck Russell Brand is. Y'all, y'all I've loved him. seen in my life. Y'all loved him. Nigga, shit used to look painted on. <laughs> yo, you, yo, yo, you good? Ish, you, I'm not going to lie to you. You got like a that run. A flagrant right you there. You got a run of the worst pause flagrant shit in the history of pause. <laughs> that was crazy. That, was, that was wild. Like, it's compilations on YouTube. Like, you going crazy. It's comp- look, look, look what they're going to do when he say that. The flagrant. No, they're like, there. Make one. <laughs> no, they're there already. You've been... His jeans look painted on. My nigga, <laughs> nigga jeans used to be tight as fuck. Like, fam, what are you doing? He's still going. Yo, <laughs> you're yeah. doubling down on the flagrancy. He did, he did dress like a rock star, so his pants were tight. Well, you should notice. Mm? Him oh, oh, noticing. Yes. I got eyes, nigga. What you mean? <laughs> you got eyes, so you see his painted on jeans. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see him. I got eyes. <laughs> I don't know what kind of jeans he wear. I thought he wore carcanine baggy shit. <laughs> Here you go. Jeans look painted on. Painted and that terminology on. is for. Carcanine. Yeah. You know what that terminology is for, right? Oh, they look boy. painted on. Do you know? Like, tell the Israel, Israelites out there. Oh, yeah. They're the women. Yo, shut up. Russell man. Brand, they're saying, went crazy. <laughs> he says it was all consensual. That don't really address some of the crazy that they say is happening with Russell Brand. How do we feel about Russell Brand? I think Sarah, uh, Forgetting Sarah Marshall is a classic, one of my favorite movies of all time. I've watched that movie 90 million times, especially on date night. No, that's your shit. Especially on date night. Date night, crack your muffin. <laughs> once, once that forgetting Sarah Marshall come on, no. oh my God, I got you. <laughs> I mean, used to, way back in the day. Mm-hmm. Uh, how do we feel? Come on. Come on, podcast advocates. Um, I mean, it sounds crazy, yeah, I, what I, he's I, accused of, allegedly. I think that um, anytime a man is out here, especially anytime the kids come into it. Oh, shit. Or any minor type shit, I think is disgusting. He's rich, yo. He's rich. He's not a bad looking guy. It's, it's. The age of consent is sixteen over there. I don't care. See that that'd be my point. Like I don't give a fuck if you forty and the age of consent is sixteen. That doesn't to make me, it right. You are a sicko. To me, I get that. I'm just delivering. I know. I tell you. So even though it's legal, so, make it sound morally like and ethically, cool no, yeah, true. I'm just saying legality and morality are two separate issues. I mm-hmm. just think that anytime you get off, I can't even have a conversation with an 18 or a 20 year old. Like, what are we talking about? Right. You get what I'm saying? I don't care how fly you are, but what are we discussing? So when when the kids 21, start, we can talk to them. No. Like how old can we talk? 47, to them? my nigga. So um, what? It gotta be 23, right? According to the reports, they weren't doing much talking. No, but slow down. Let me so ask you about him. No. Joe, you know I talk a lot. Yo, stop your shit. I don't know. I'm just saying. <laughs> Yo. No, so again, because I think I, even at 18, 19, when you're rich, you can kind of manipulate those situations. You can manipulate the 40s. So imagine what you could do with the, the, the 19s or the 20s when you're rich and you could show them shit that they've never seen. I think a lot of that is predatory. So if he is guilty, I don't know if he is, but if he is guilty, I think that punishments need to be handed where, down where do, accordingly. Well, where do we stand on, and it's not even about him, just in general, actions being taken as soon as the accusation comes out? That don't mean nothing to me. No, but I'm just you, saying you because think, like there's a lot of action that was taken on Russell Yeah, Brand. his YouTube page was demonetized. They pulled, Netflix, um, they pulled, they pulled his pulled Netflix. His tour, yeah. like a lot of... Now, everything's saying, gone. I don't really be a fan of that, to be honest mm-hmm. with you. I think that um, due diligence need to be had. And I think, again, if you are found guilty... You need to suffer consequences. My retort to that would be that maybe some of these companies that he's in bed with have more information than we as the public do. Or they just gotta, they they just gotta get away from it. They just trying to get away from you. We gotta get away from you. We gotta. You can't. can't You can't monetize and. You know, I'm like, so what? Because I think about, I think about the Kevin Spacey. (laughs) You can't do that. Mm -hmm. Like he lost it. It's wrong. Yo, shut the fuck up. I'm not. You can't do that. No, listen to what I'm saying. I think nowadays with so much ad money and branding and all of that shit. Let's just say somebody came out, a company, and said, yo, we don't know what he did. We're going to stand by until he's proven guilty in a court of law. They're going to get so much backlash from that shit that they're going to lose bread. So now we got to immediately cut ties with you and walk away. Do y'all think he did that shit or not? I don't know. I don't know. This is something that happened know. in 2003. I, have no idea. I really don't know. The accusations. Do y'all think he has that 
Look. <laughs> Come on, man. We'll just polish your joke. Do that. Can't Why do not? That. You can't not do nice. that. You can't, can't like you can't look at somebody and be like, oh, you oh, look yeah. super <laughs> Wait, Well, you can't. I mean, no. wait, you can't. Nah, hold on. I'm gonna hold you. Wait, some what? Rankings. I'm about to wait, hold on now. Oh, yeah, hold on. Oh, pop pussy. Hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna pop pussy. I've seen a couple niggas, niggas, niggas that you know. His YouTube just got demonetized and they're suing niggas. So I hope that. Like, well, he just got the mustache careful. and yeah. nothing else. Be careful, what? nigga. <laughs> be you, careful with what? And you want to come up. Be careful. It's always my man to highlight it. Yeah. Like, what if it went under the radar? Look at you. Cloud Chasey. Yeah. Well, Look at you. Yeah. View, baby. Fuck out of here. Yeah. View, baby. I am, I trying, to, am trying to get on Russell Brand team. Uh, fuck out of here. Fuck that nigga. But it's fuck you too, You want all the opportunities in February. Yeah. Fuck <laughs> Anybody. I don't bro. want no opportunity. Oh, oh, right. I got my own. There's a lot of discourse and debate as to whether or not these charges are actually real based on a lot of the stuff that he was saying on his YouTube page. Like he's, you know, been very vocal about being anti-establishment and talking about Hollywood and all the shit that goes on behind the scenes and that sort of thing so people mm. there is a large number of people who are thinking very conspiratorially right now and thinking that this is I'm gonna break you yeah we're gonna break, that we're gonna break you yeah but exactly I don't think that because he talked negatively be about vaccines they're putting a rape charge on him like that's crazy it could be the, it could, I'm, it just, could, I'm just stating mm. what the conversation look, is like uh, out there it could right be now. the other way too where mm -hmm. we knew this shit mm -hmm. and now that you're talking we going to go uncover it's, it's four women, you know. Oh, a thousand saying? percent. A thousand percent. Allegedly. Or it could once be. You start, once you start or bucking the system. Or it could be he knew he had start, some shit with him, so he's going to start painting a, a conspiratorial uh, scene. So when shit comes out, he can be like, ah, oh, no, nah, see, I've been telling you that it's a conspiracy. No, the accusations that have been made, they're graphic. Like, really, 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 really bad. Well, so, accusations are normally graphic and bad. I don't, what, did mm, you read, what did you read that not, at, Mel? Um, variety. Variety. Yeah. So just here. I see. I got it. I got it. I got okay. it. I got it. Um, <laughs> no, for example, no, for example, um, Aziz Ansari, when he was, you know, accused during the whole Me Too movement, mm -hmm. when that story came out, we're reading this. A lot of women were reading this and we were like, this ain't it. What Aziz did again? He tried to get a blowjob from a girl after a date, if I recall. That's, yeah, that's summing it up. But you can't do that. No, nah. no, well, no, no, no. Especially that's, not in the whip. No, but that's not what happened. Especially not on the west side. That's not even what happened. Oops. What happened? They were back at his house. <laughs> like, even just the way that they met. Like, they were at a party, and she was with her Matt, date or boyfriend. Huh. You about to get in trouble. Okay. You about to get in trouble, yo. You can't say what you about to say. No, what I am going to say is a lot of times what pe what will happen is when it came to the Me Too movement, a lot of lionesses, a lot of very, you know, very brave women, very courageous women told their stories and they were factual. And then there was a few people that tried to connect themselves to that movement that, no, your story is not the same. Mm. What happened to you is not the same. It's just not the same. Russell Brand. Sorry, sorry, buddy. Oh man, this is sorry, buddy. Right? I mean, so the, so who here is really, really sad? This has to affect you, Hollywood, Mister Hollywood movie. But who's really about to destroy over this news? Well, I don't think anybody. It's so sixteen is a legal age. Sixteen is a legal age over there. No, you said yes, that over there in the UK. Yes. Hmm. Listen. No, no, no. That sounded crazy. Because I'm reading. That does not sound. There's a bunch no, 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 of nasty no, no, no. niggas out no, there. No, listen what I'm saying. in Hollywood. They run around these circles. They like fucking the little young girls. It's I a thing. I hear you, but listen. It's just. It's sick. I it's don't very wanna, graphic. Yeah, I don't want to repeat Her what she said. Her account is very graphic. Yeah. Should, should I, should, I should just leave it alone. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's been Affleck okay. <laughs> He's doing commercials with Ice Spice. He's good. He's great. <laughs> Yo, oh, all you acting niggas out there. I don't care. Y'all all could go down. <laughs> I'm waiting for Gone Girl Part 2 long before forgetting Sarah Marshall Part 2. If I don't need the sequel, nigga, fuck out of here. <laughs> Peace. Long as Ben Affleck is fine, then I'm straight. Matt Damon and them, there's about five of them whites yeah, it's a couple. That, I, that we need. Come on. <laughs> Imagine something happening to Matt Damon. Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, come on. Come on. Leo. Leo. He down. Something would never happen to him. Never. He down. He down with the movement. Yeah. He want to know. We need to refer keep... back. Yeah, he's, who else? he's totally down. Now you got me thinking. Who else on that list? It's Leo. It's Ben. It's Matt. Matt. It's uh, George Brad Clooney. Pitt. Brad. Brad Pitt. Oh, yeah. Robert De Niro. Tom Hanks. I like Matthew mm -hmm. McConaughey. McConaughey. De Niro on there. and Pacino. McConaughey on Matthew there. Matthew McConaughey is in there. Jack Nicholson. 
And my oh. man Gerard Butler, I'm putting him in there too. <laughs> but I don't give a fuck. Well, you said no. I like Jack. Gerard Butler. Oh no, not no, too much on say, Gerard Butler. No, Jack is yeah. Oh, okay. Nobody's seen I, Jack in years. I think he said no to Jack. I was like, no, no. Oh, Jack Nicholson, yeah. one of them, man. Wait, huh? No, Gerard Butler, Jack Nicholson. Yeah. What about he said Jack? Nicholson. He said Jack. And what about Jack Nicholson? Nigga? Hey, acting now. <laughs> nothing. What do you mean nothing? He's one of them. To, to who? Well, my grandparents passed. I don't have a grandparent. <laughs> to the world? I don't have a grandparent alive. Nah, Jack Nicholson said I do. You have grandparents? I do. Also, respect them. Jack, get your jack shit off. I don't give yo, a fuck about that. That sounded crazy. Ain't nothing that inappropriate. And, yo, I, I would like to press charges. <laughs> <laughs> you just you sexually came on to me. You yes, you did. That. You can't do that. Get your, get your jack shit off. That, that, that was You freaky. can't press charges, though. Why not? Representative of the streets. You can't do that. Mm. Kind of, sort of. Salute. Salute. You got me. Yeah, you can't do that. <laughs> You're lucky this time, buddy. Thanks. <laughs> Man, let's say, if you ever feel uncomfortable, let fuck, me know. Fucking Jack. <laughs> Jack, we had the Laker game looking like Mitch McConnell. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. <laughs> don't nobody ever want to say nothing. He it's can't like, make out enough. Yo, stupid ass Laker announcers. Oh, Jack is still here. <laughs> 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 Jack is on a. <laughs> Jack is breathing through tubes. <laughs> He's talking about some Jack Nicholson. <laughs> That is not What's nice. What's wrong with you, y'all? Yeah, shout what? to Jack, man. I'm just saying, when they, go, when they pan the celebrity role, don't give a fuck about Jack. They gonna show him last like he's somebody. Nigga, nigga if you don't show man. me Cher and Rihanna, it's <laughs> fucking Jack. Now, they care about Jack. Jack Nicholson. They, LA care about Jack. He always want to act like he's talking to somebody when the camera gets them. Like, he alert. Yeah, like he turned around like, oh, that's man with the white like, hair. Yeah, like, he a weird. He's like, oh, shit, cat, cat, cat. Nigga, a shit, a shit, cat, cat. Fuck out here, Jack. Nigga's an idiot, bro. <laughs> Jack was in what? The first Batman? The first Joker or some shit? Yeah, he was. What yes. year that one came out? 87. Look, look, look. It's mute up, bitch. I was a kid. Old ass nigga. Look, you weren't even born. Why we care about this? I was born in He was the Joker when they were still doing POW! <laughs> no, he wasn't. <laughs> Kaboom! No, he wasn't, you idiot. <laughs> Kaput! <laughs> Why the fuck do we care about that nigga? Kobe on a fast break. Move! <laughs> and rest in peace to Kobe Bean. Uh, oh, stupid, Russell Brand, I'm sorry, big dog. It's over, man. Yeah, you can't do that shit. Yeah, you can't do that shit over here in America. Yeah, no, no more YouTube for you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, he's not, he's not. That YouTube must generate a couple dollars. It they, does. Not a lot. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> look, of course not. not. Yeah, yeah, look, not say, look, nah. look how you look at this. Expenses. Have, after oh. having been expenses. After having been the scene in two years. Storage. Look at him. No, storage. Uh, that's that's a real thing. That's your one. That's, that's your go to. <laughs> what you call We got to take you to court for pocket watching. <laughs> for one what? Day. Nah, I, don't. Days. I don't. Because why are you worried about the storage? You say it. It's a lot. I just got good ears. Not stop. I listen to everything. Stop. <laughs> stop. I listen to yeah, stop. everything. Stop, stop listening. Yeah, we, yeah, nigga, we do listen, listen to, everything. to the storage feed. I'm listening nigga, to everything too, here. nigga. Oh, like I got a storage bill across the street from putting somebody clothes in there. You don't want to hear about that. Not sure, don't. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you don't talk about it. Left them clothes in that motherfucker. Uh, With the Louis bag? All that shit. Uh, you go get it. I'm good. <laughs> Hold I'm up. What's Oh. Are you ready to get back to Boston? <laughs> you ready to get back to Boston, right? You ready to get back to Boston? Ready to get right back to You ever stop? Boosting? Yo. Let people tell up. it? No. I'm going to need the markets cleaning them up every day. Yo, this nigga said you ever stop. Um, off of the Russell Brand shit, there was another controversy out there. Oh, yeah. the Rolling Stone dude. Rolling Stone dude. There we go. Two of them. Yeah. Tell me about what happened with Rolling Stone dude. Okay, so uh, Jan uh, Werner. He's the co-founder of Rolling Stone magazine. He was recently doing an interview about his book called The Masters, where he um, speaks about seven um, masters, Springsteen. Um, all whites. Which oh, is all good. Whites. Yeah, basically. Yeah, all the whites. They were all white. So during the course. Rock and roll masters. Yes. Springsteen still all looks whites. amazing, by the way. Yeah, he does. Bruce, Bruce. Bruce. Shout yeah. out to Bruce. Yeah, he looks Bruce like he's Bruce. gotten younger. Shout out to Bruce. Somehow. Found a few. Shout I don't know. Shout out to Bruce. Look at you. All the old niggas. Jack, Bruce. Who else? Billy Joel. Shout out to Jack Bruce. Um, so anyways, as a result of some inflammatory comments that he made about um, female artists and also black artists, he's been removed from the... Um, YouTube monetization program. <laughs> no, the Rock nah. and Roll Hall of Fame, um, the board of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Foundation. He also, yeah, because he also co-founded that as well. It took him off the board. Oh, that fixes the problem. Yeah, we're... Yeah. 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 No, they think we stupid. <laughs> to the gallows! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They, think, they think we are fools. Pull, pull you off that board, buddy. Always friends still there, right? Yeah. His buddies? 
fuck out. Is the group chat still there? Still there. What, what was right. his quote? His quote. Yeah, was I want to know what he his said. His quote. He said, um, "They asked him why he didn't interview women or black musicians." Oh shit! This was a setup from the jump. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the Donald Sterling prostitute that asked this question. No. He said, "It's not that they're inarticulate. Although, go oh. have a deep conversation with Grace Slick or Janis Joplin. Please be my guest. You know, Joni Mitchell was not a philosopher of rock and roll. She didn't, in my mind, meet that test." He said, "Of black artists, you know, Stevie Wonder, genius, right?" I suppose when you use the word as broad as masters, the fault is using that word. Maybe Marvin Gaye or Curtis Mayfield. I mean, they just didn't articulate to that level. So he said that women and black artists are inarticulate and yes. they shouldn't Basically. be interviewed for his book about masters of music. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, there you have it. Rest in peace, Rolling Stone. It's, it's over. It's over. And of course, he's apologized. Already. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. He put the apology. Did he out. really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the board. I don't think the, he really. The board makes you apologize. Oh, he, he reached was just out like, to his accountability fuck partner. Him, basically, <laughs> <laughs> his accountability <laughs> partner made control. him apologize. His apology like sounded more like, "I'm sorry, you feel like that. I'm, I'm sorry." Well, Pink, and, yeah. Pink Ben told us that Rolling Stone that we knew is not the same since they sold and it sold to some assholes and dicks who don't care about anything. But this is no, the guy he that was started the co-founder. No, yeah, he started it. This is the guy that started, not that currently owns it. Oh well, no, I never thought that they started on sound principles. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rolling Stone. Yeah, it's Rolling Stone. Yeah. It's rock and roll. I mean, it started redlining. <laughs> Damn. Well, rock and roll is dead. It's I mean, it ain't dead. It ain't dead. You got a whole career. This niggas out there redlining. Yeah. You think rock and roll is still as popular as it was before? That's a different statement. No. But all the way dead? Nah, they're going to show me Paul McCartney every New Year's Eve. <laughs> I mean, he was like he was more than the co-founder. He was like editor-in-chief for, you know, a significant amount of time, right? It was his shit. It yeah. Was, it was mm -hmm. his, it was I his think magazine. Yeah. Man, tell me when the co-founder of Fashion Nova say something bad. <laughs> fuck well, no. I mean, like, I think that... The fuck the, is he? No, I think that the fact that he made these remarks, you know, this is a magazine where, you know, artists required, you know, a lot of, like, publications to speak about their music and whatever else. And it's just like, I think that to, to think that he had this viewpoint and that he's had it, you know, obviously forever. He sounds like a racist son of a bitch. Um, it makes you question the amount of artists that, you know, the coverage that they got or, or not, you mm -hmm. know, in the magazine. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Fuck Rolling Stone. It's over. Been over, but. And but, go, go Cowboys. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but fuck Rolling Stone. Yo, humans are the greatest. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't like the Cowboys either. <laughs> What's wrong with your brain, huh? Gonna, Everything. Well, you know. Everything. Cowboys, man. What else we got? Come on, what else we got is important. Come on, what we got? Um, yeah, go, go pee. <laughs> I'm like, fuck you telling me, for? like I'm the teacher. Man. Why you niggas talk to me like I'm the teacher? Go piss. I don't need the announcement. Wipe the sides, though, when you do that shit you be doing. Oh, my God. <laughs> you be going crazy in there. Your aim is atrocious. I went in there after you one day, nigga. I seen what you did. <laughs> I was going to ask y'all what y'all thought about this whole uh, Stephen A versus Tara Owens. I think we, we started it. <laughs> I think it's totally, oh, totally my fault. <laughs> my bad. Sorry, Stephen A. I just try to have a peaceful talk up here. I didn't mean to get you in no shit. And we try not to be messy. We weren't messy. We, we, you know, he didn't say messy. nothing here that he hadn't already previously stated, but saying it here it was, is, is... It got legs. Yeah. Yeah. I it, like when that happens unintentionally. Like when I didn't mean to do it and it happens, oh my god! And when it's not you doing it, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's the best that part. part too. That's the best part. Yeah, that part too. yeah. Well, he came in and gave it up. Shout out to Stephen A. Man, I hope everything is cool. He said what he had to say. He said what he said. Terrell got a couple muscles though, my nigga. <laughs> hold you. Well, you think he's gonna fight him? They was talking spicy. <laughs> they really was. They was talking spicy. Like they were, they were talking a little bit of, little bit. Stephen of, A. said, "I just seen you at the Colorado game. You should have said something if you had a problem." Yeah. No, Terrell said that. Stephen A. said it too. Gotcha. See, anytime thoughts you, to, anytime you tell somebody that, it, it, it's an indication of the next time you see me. Yo, the, for the say, on for the on site people out there, <laughs> does on site apply for the Buffs game? 
Mm. Can't apply for the bus game. That's what I'm saying. It's something to think about. You can't go out there and be niggas. You're going to go to Colorado <laughs> with Coach Prime starting a renaissance. <laughs> you can't go be and niggas. And apply out there. on site no. principles. Can you that imagine? sounds crazy. No. Crazy. Tuck that shit till y'all Can get back imagine? somewhere else. But then it's not on site. Well, then it ain't on site. It's on site with an asterisk there. <laughs> We're not going out here to be niggas. Can you imagine? Well, that's the other tricky part about on-site in some groups, right? Like, when some people say it, the goal for the other person is to not be, be seen anywhere where you are <laughs> in, in sight. sight. <laughs> yeah. And True. if you happen to beat those odds, we can deal with the on part of that sentence. Yeah. But if there's sight, there's a problem. Nigga, why I'm looking at you? <laughs> <laughs> How you got in? Whoa, I'm in the wrong hood. Right. I'm in the wrong that's spot. That's wrong true. restaurant. It's a couple spots. This nigga interrupting a good sushi roll for some bullshit. Yeah, I don't, yeah. Yeah, on site. It gets tricky, yes. man. It gets tricky. Don't it take y'all that's that's why I don't say that Colorado. shit. Because sometimes all. it'd be a spot where I don't feel like doing it. You with your mom's. Like, yeah, what, what are we doing? Okay. Um, before you guys get into sports, you guys might, I got to make a little run. BRB. We need you for the sports commentary. No, uh, yeah, I, I, I know, I know, but yeah, yeah. I, I trust you. For the sports commentary. Hold me down, okay? We're going to miss you, though. Okay. Like, we don't like that shit. I like, know. sports I, is I not going to be the be same without you. Shut up. Go <laughs> ahead. And it's a lot of traffic. It's some United Nations shit going on in the city. So don't go to don't go to <laughs> Harlem, yeah, yeah. Brooklyn. Central and, and, Park. And, None yeah, of that yeah, over there. Yeah, the park. Yeah, stay away from the park. Yeah, rollerblading. Yeah, yoga in. Yoga, <laughs> yoga, yoga and shit. Yoga ing. Uh, but back to the game. Oh yeah, Colorado. I was in the strip club, glued to that game on my phone like a loser, but I wasn't turning it off. And no. Girls were coming up to me. You look, you look like you're not having fun. Like you should you be lost, having Papa? fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, should, I could do a whole segment on that sentence right <laughs> there. That's the sentence. You know, right having there. fun when you're yeah. out at the spot and trying to keep up with a game or something. My brother was trying to watch the Cowboy game when we was at one of them games when we was at uh, my mom's dinner. And just when you had a party doing your dude shit and the girls and is everything okay? Why are you always in your phone? Why are you always in your, your phone? Business. There's a historical yeah. battle going on in Colorado, ma'am. Yeah, there's sometimes some. I don't need a dance right now. No, you good touchdowns pussy. over here. Yeah, pussy don't <laughs> take precedence. You want to score? <laughs> What's that voice and accent? Yeah, yeah it's looking, yo. Are oh, you talking about one group of people? No. I'm, oh, all right. I'm, I'm talking about yeah, you, the women. You want to score? <laughs> yeah. That's your woman voice? No, anyway, bro. My anyway. man. That's my man right there. Look how good y'all look. Cool. The old crew my man right together. there. Oh, y'all look good. That's hate. Y'all look good. That's hate. That y'all didn't need us. Y'all look good. No, I just old, wanted... The old crew wasn't ever going to disband. I, I just look good. I just wanted to acknowledge how good you Disband and don't be about... All right. <laughs> <laughs> I watched that Colorado game, too. You oh, did? Oh, oh, I saw you. Oh, I, did. Oh, I, did. I, did. I saw you. Let's go. And he tweeted about it. What yeah. did you think? Were you entertained? How many home runs they had? Um, the score was 42 to something. So you're trying to be funny. Stop. It's not home runs, touchdowns, it's nigga. It's, my man. it's touchdowns. Yeah, it's touchdowns. What, 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 give me y'all's reaction to the late hit on Travis Hunter. That was and, nasty. It was a bounty. Yeah, that was, yeah. It's, it's a, a bounty. And it's a bad, I think it's whack. If any adult had anything to do with that, I think they should. That was be. I one hundred. Are you talking about on the sideline? We something to do with that. And yeah. My, yeah. Lacerated you know, his liver. He lacerated his oh, liver. Oh, for real? Bro. Yeah. Yes. They said he might not play for three or four games. No, he, he might not play. He's not playing for the next three weeks. Yeah. Like these sure. are children. I mean, not children, because again, they're young yeah, adults. Yeah. But you know what I mean in context. Like, and so if an adult had that done, mm -hmm. they, they need to be kicked out of football forever. Yeah, it is old school football. I don't care. I don't care. I heard that too. It's old school football from grownups. That's Jack Tatum and all of them in the NFL. You not out here targeting children, bro. That shit is disgusting. Yeah, it's nasty. Then they found the dude's address and shit, leaked it online. And he was talking about he's getting death threats and all this other shit. I don't care. I don't care about none of that. I don't care if you're uncomfortable. I don't care if you can't deal with the ramifications of what you did. But you might have been a kid following out your coach, coach's orders. Yeah, death threats so a little that's a far personally. Nah, opinion, but were, were you guys on the edge as well when they were down? And did you think that, was, that was crazy. Yeah. That was good. The, it was. The minute yeah, and man, half I needed my left, team to win, yo. Yeah. And they had to go, not, the, the punter knocked it right on the one-yard line. Perfect punt. I'm like, oh, shit. And then they just drove that motherfucker right down, boy. You could see how some of this shit just feels scripted. You could. That yeah, game You could. That game looked, looked and felt like... You could. Some scripted it's, it's shit. Like, what some is happening some, right now? Some movie some, shit. Yeah, movie that shit is out of Remember yeah. the Titans. Yeah. It, 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 it was it crazy. Was. They looking like Remember the Titans out there. That's crazy as hell. I agree. Without what? their best player 
And they go see, uh, they got USC in a couple of weeks. Two weeks. That one, that's going to be the one. Mm -hmm. I don't even care what happens this week. I want, no. to, I want to see that game. No, both. Or, Who they got? Who's Oregon. this game? Oregon. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't disrespect Oregon, bro. No, they're going to lose to Oregon. Oregon's a good team. They're going to yeah. lose to Oregon. If Oregon. they beat Oregon's, Oregon, Oregon's, well, I don't know how they are team. this year, but historically they're They are historic. Uh, if they beat Oregon, bro. So when I'm they, rooting for them. I hope both I'm rooting for them to beat everybody. I'm, I'm a, a, I'm a I Buffalo's a, fan. Oh yeah, I saw you on the bandwagon. Oh yeah, yeah, we here, baby. We we, we speak French. I, I have There's a, a lot of people on the bandwagon with me. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah. here too. I just yeah, on team though. Where your shades at? Y'all ain't buy the shades. Not fake not, ass not. fans. Did you buy the shades? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fake ass fans. And, 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 and you bought them. Uh -huh. what fake happened? ass fans. How much shades you bought? No, I bought them. But what happened though? They coming. Exactly. That's why mine ain't here yet, nigga. I know the date is a. Uh, October. Where your big baller brand shoes at? Huh? I didn't buy those because I didn't Come believe on, in those. Why you don't support? I didn't believe in those. <laughs> My man LeVar. I got actual buffs. Father of the year. <laughs> now Dion's in the running. Uh, shout out to Coach Prime. Yeah. 100. Man. Shout out to that, that game. Yo, Travis Hunter, get, he, get well soon. It's like, yo, this nigga got a speech right. Like, who was writing Obama speeches? <laughs> <laughs> they writing that shit for Prime before the, before the questionnaires. He can't trip up. He just say some inspirational, mega fly shit every time he open his mouth, yo. That's prime. Yeah, you know. Look, they tried to get me, but they couldn't get me because they couldn't out slick me. You're like, <laughs> yo, what are you talking about? You rapping now? Do you believe now? <laughs> yo, he just be saying that. So we were just shit. going to have a football game, but they fight mess around and made it personal. Anyway, you can't never hear me talking about no Listen, other man publicly. I don't do that. I wasn't raised like that. I don't even. <laughs> I want to allow y'all the floor to continue uh, with your Coach Prime conversation because it's well deserved. He's the man. Shout out to all those kids out there. Indeed. But we have a guest. Mm. And before there was a Coach Prime, it was him. Mm. I know Coach Prime gets all the credit and the praise right this second. But before him, there was one man. Before there was a LeVar Ball. Shut that shit off. Man. There was one man. That's right. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Nah, if he had some cereal. We have none other than fucking Coach Roy oh, man. is in the building. Come on, clap it up for Coach Roy. Thank you. <laughs> Turn this shit off. <laughs> not you on, Coach oh, Roy said he wanted to hear some noise. Oh, you got to come closer and get this. Come on, come on, come up here. It's all right. It's all right. Oh, you, you calling a nigga from behind? But you want to come? We have the legend, Coach Roy, in the building with us here at the JPP. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. I appreciate it. I really, 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 really appreciate it. No, no, no. We appreciate it. No, we here. It. Yeah. We, 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 we appreciate it. I, I could not be happier that you're here. You're in better shape than I, than I thought. Like, you in real, like, football shape. Yeah, stress will do that to you. <laughs> yeah, if well, you, you want to lose weight, just stay up all night and read Twitter. Get a heart oh, 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 yeah. oh, you got a Twitter? Yeah. Tell him what's his Twitter. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> you tell them, I don't need nobody else to watch Twitter. <laughs> I'm good. Hey, oh, hey, tell them your man. socials. Well, I'm good. They Zero found seven seven six four eight nine six one. Holler at me. I'm claiming bankruptcy, so if y'all want to get it, you better oh, get it now. Oh, shit. <laughs> What's up? Now, and have you claimed bankruptcy? Yeah, I told you. I don't lie about shit I can prove. Because they was coming for you. Was they coming for you after the doc? Coach Roy is from BS High. If you haven't seen it, it's on Max. I've seen it multiple times. As recently as this morning, <laughs> easily one of my favorite docs. Coach easily. Roy, let's start with how has your life changed since this doc has been released? This is one of my favorite docs of the year. Nah, it's up there uh, in the Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. Nah, this is one of them. It should be because I was in it. Now Straight you, up and down. And like you was I honest? Yeah, and I tell the truth. That's the problem, right? So people. Well, don't everybody understand else it. in there said you was lying. Mm -hmm. But, but they, they can't prove it. I don't lie about shit you can prove, so. If you got it out there and it's in front of there, you ask me, yeah, I did it. Okay, well. And if it, if it can't be proven, then that means that I didn't do it. That's not what it means. That's, that's, not what it means. that's exactly what it means. Y'all don't live in America? That's exactly what it means. If you can't prove it, I didn't do it. I don't even know what y'all talking about. It's reality, man. Y'all read Shakespeare. Come on, y'all know what it is. That's just it. <laughs> if you can't prove it, then I didn't do Coach it. Coach Roy, I want to start with... 
Well, how did your life change? First of all, I'll start there. I'll start sure. there. I do want to answer to that. Um, there's two sides of that, right? There's the gangster side of it. It ain't changed nothing. It's just now more people know the way I look and see things. And then on the flip side of it, when you keep it real, it definitely um, forced me to start making different decisions and moves because when you're doing this, like whatever, ha, 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 and then you realize that I got a son and a daughter that are going to watch that one day. So mm. on the real, you know what I mean? The mistakes that I made, you know, I want to make sure that my son knows like, yo, that's not cool. And then for my daughter, because they say your daughters end up dating somebody like their father, make sure that you date somebody, marry somebody like Coach Roy after the documentary. Well, tell us more about him. Who, Coach Roy? After, after the documentary. Man, I'm just chilling, laying low, man, being real careful and what I do, what I say. So that's why I said I appreciate you guys having me because you get a lot of people blowing your phone up and wanting to talk and stuff like that. But I just uh, really appreciate people that give me a fair shake, right? Yeah, those people I don't think wanted to highlight some of the good. No, they weren't going to. And yeah. that's what I said. I don't got a problem talking about what I did wrong. You know what I mean? If you ask me what I did wrong, this is what I did wrong. And I if do. you ask me what I did right, this is what I did right. Do you think you were fairly painted? For what I did wrong? Yeah, that's what I did. It's the stuff that it was true. Yeah. What about... I did. Well, so they didn't acknowledge some of the things that you felt that you did correctly. No, why would they? People don't click on that. Don't, why would, nobody want to see that. So right now, you know, one of the things that I tell people all the time, like I said, we'll get time to talk shit and laugh. But one of the things that I say that people don't realize is that it provided opportunities for young men to go to college. And so we have people in our program that are currently playing college. And people don't understand that, right? So guys in a program play for University of Cincinnati. Guys in a program play for Alabama State. Guys in a program play for John Carroll. So you got plenty of guys that are playing JUCO. And not only that, they didn't understand that what we did was the summer before football season, we took a tour from Youngstown State, which is in Northeast Ohio, all the way down to Houston. We visited the last three national champions. And you give them that experience to do that. So that's the positive that has there. You know what I mean? So when you talk about the good, that's what we did good. You know what I mean? And like I said, we're going to learn from our mistakes, right? Because otherwise that's not being accountable. You know what I mean? We're going to uh, continue to do the things that we did right because that makes sense. We're going to build on that. And then one thing that I always talk about when we're having a real conversation is that uh, we're going to honor all the people who didn't make it that got killed along the way. You know what I mean? We had a coach that was killed. Mm -hmm. We had six people that died, you know, because, you know, they either went back to the streets or some t in some cases it wasn't their fault at all. You know, I always talk about TJ. You know, we miss him a lot. You know, he was uh, the first quarterback we had that uh, – took us to our first 500 season, so that was a big deal. And then he was going to Central State, and then, you know, things didn't work out, wrong place, wrong time, he ends up getting killed. So when you keep it real and put all that click bullshit to the side and actually talk about what the program was about, the program saved a lot of young men. So, you know, when I talk about guys like TJ, we have another dude, Calvin Dawson, I'm going to shout him out. And uh, he said one of the most uh, heartfelt things I ever said. Um, he was talking to one of the producers from uh, Barstool's, and he was like, yeah, I was about to go to college. The program helped me be a man. Ran up in the crib, shot him six times, and now he's in a wheelchair. And when they interviewed him, you know what he said? He said, Coach Roy was the reason that I got into college. This program helped me be a man. And even from this wheelchair, I stand for Coach Roy. So HBO you, interview him? Of course not. Why would they interview him? him? Yeah, so when you talk about things like that, let's keep it real, right? Because if you want to have a real conversation about our education, if you want a real conversation about our opportunities, it provided opportunities for some, and for some it didn't work, right? But how is that different than any other school that mm -hmm. you go to? You know what I mean? So well, there's that part of it. Well, Coach Roy. Let's talk about it. I see you speaking about the kids that did well. Correct. I want to ask about number 54, which was the kid that got hurt versus uh, IMG. That they didn't, they didn't have a record of him. <clears throat> they didn't even have his name in the... I was watching. They had his name, who the his number. They made him switch his number. He wore number 33 as a defensive lineman. And then when we got there, their rules for this particular refs was that he had to have a lineman number on. So they made him put on number 54 because that was the extra jersey that we had. Okay. <sighs> What's so funny? Coach Royo, why you didn't have trainers? That's not true either. That's just what people said. Oh, so there's a lot that they showed that wasn't true. Yeah, so they said, oh, we didn't have trainers. So, for instance, when you go play a high school game, I don't know if you guys play high school football, but I explain it for the casual watching person. The people that set it up, there are paramedics there, there are doctors there, and there's trainers. IMG has more money, so they'll bring all the trainers and stuff so we can save some money and not have to bring our own trainers. But we also kept a nurse on staff, which is ranked higher than a trainer. 
but they didn't bring that up because that doesn't fit the story. That doesn't fit the narrative. Well, and when they said number 54 tore, had a torn ACL, like the people that they showed out there didn't look like they knew what they was doing. Well, you can go back and watch the ESPN film, right? So our coaches obviously run out, and then there's a paramedic truck van right there with paramedics on it. They come out just like the NFL, right? When somebody gets hurt, the trainers just put tape. So when people throw that around, we had nurses and we had an on-call doctor. So you don't acknowledge nothing you did to be like scammy. Like, I, of course I do. Like, yeah. I got you like, in the <laughs> scam hall of fame. Yeah, and you should, because I'm that. But he, <laughs> that's not what we're talking about. You up there with that's Ms. the problem. He's the problem up there with Miss Cleo. No, nah, this no, nigga he, is the GOAT. No, nah, yeah, well, yeah, don't Cleo. forget it, but with the, we're not talking about that. We're talking about what I did right, right? And if you guys want to talk about the other shit, we could talk about the chickens and the other shit that I did. <laughs> like, y'all want to talk about it, we can talk about it. Well... I do. <laughs> yeah, because that's what people want to hear. They want to hear. You know what I'm saying? They want to hear. I do, they Coach hear about that. Yeah, they don't want to hear about that. They don't want to hear about this. They don't want to hear about the struggles that we have. They don't want to hear about the moves that we had to make. They don't want to hear about that because guess what? People don't want to hear about that. And guess what? I'm cool with it. Let's, we can talk about. Let me ask you a question. And, What's up? And you and you watching the doc. Mm-hmm. Um, one. Let me ask. How do you feel about the doc? I think the doc was done well. I mean. I learned a lot about media and entertainment, right? You bring people on, you ask them questions, you put the information out there, and you let people believe what they want to believe and make a decision right and back and forth, right? Mm -hmm. So somebody comes out in a document and says, he filled out 150 PPP loans. Any stupid motherfucker who thinks that I filled out PPP loans for 150 kids and is walking around free is just stupid. Oh, I thought that. I did believe that. I could be stupid. Nah. I've been stupid before. No, nah, you know, nobody's feeling that. Because when I'm watching your shit, loans. Coach Roy, one of the first questions I asked myself was, this is brilliant, but it takes funding. Remember I came in and said that? Mm -hmm. How is he funding this yeah, stuff? Yeah, said that. So if the PPP part, which, listen, get a t for the people that didn't see the doc, they said that Coach Roy was attached to a church. <laughs> and that was the first time around. What did they say the second time around? The first time around, there was a church that was uh, funding it. And there's proof of that. There's whole articles on it. The church was funding it, and then for some reason, the church pulled out. And I, I mean, I don't know why they pulled out, besides the fact that they ain't shit, but they So pulled that out. part was true? Absolutely. So gotcha. we were working with a church, and the church originally opened up this program in the school. Then you can read the article, and it explains that the church got under investigation. It was a whole big mess. Mm -hmm. So when that happened, there were 60 kids up in, uh, we were doing camp at a hotel. Here's another thing. The church rented the hotel. I didn't, but people said, oh, he rented the hotel, because they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. So the church backed out, and I had 60 kids that had nowhere to go. So that's the part that they don't tell you, right? So the part that they tell you is, oh, he brought us out here, and it wasn't what he said. Nah. That's why when they were talking about, oh, he had this field above this and all those architect drawings and all that. Yeah, there was architects. The guys that uh, designed the Olympics that came and worked on it. There was a lot of people that put a lot of money. There was a lot of people that lost a lot of money dumping it in, investing into something that the church said they were going to do. They also don't tell you that we got 100 acres donated. We cleared the land off. We had the land level for football fields and all that. They don't tell you that. And then the church pulled out. They How were you like, able to do that? I went into the church and was like, you need to start helping these niggas. And the church was down. They already had a school program. And they came to me and they said, hey, we would like to do something to help the community. It was called the Economic and Development Program. I said, well, the way you can help the community is provide an option for kids to come and play sports because the education system in inner city suck. They let niggas play football with .83 GPAs. Mm. You want to hear something that's real foul? That whole OSHA with that little uh, nerdy white guy that was running around. It's my man. You, it, you like the snitch? It's not. <laughs> it, hey, Coach Roy, it's not a good doc without him. What are you talking about? It's not a great doc without the little white investigative journalist snitch dude. It's not. A, you, you need know, him. No, you I need, don't need him, bro. I to, needed to him as a, as a viewer. To make the doc. Because he was getting busy. Coach Roy was getting busy. Ain't nobody said shit. Uh, all it takes is one little white dude and to he say, not let it go. hey, he yeah, and he not, didn't let it go. He, you know he, he had listen, your listen, ass, Coach listen, Roy. Listen, listen let, me t let, me tell you, let me tell you what this bitch used to do. Oh, oh shit. shit. This, bitch, this bitch, listen to what he used to do. This bitch would call up coaches and say he was a state investigator, right? And Coach Roy's up there, and he's doing this, and he's doing that. What he doesn't realize is that he's causing, he's running interference on kids getting a second chance, right? On something that isn't illegal. He just didn't like the way I was going about it, right? That's why he said that dumbass shit. Just because you can't shoot yourself in the leg doesn't mean you should. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. All I know is I didn't violate any rules and this is why it was okay. And here's the thing, people don't understand. 
before IMG, we had played 30 some of my games. So the only reason that this became an What issue was your record in those games? Uh, we were seven and 23. Y'all won seven games? Yes, sir. That, them niggas ain't look like they could win seven games. <laughs> okay. And the little white dude said that some of them wasn't kids. That's what, what he said. What, so what we need to you, go talk. We need to go talk about that. that, Coach Roy. I didn't break any rules. He's a bitch. He don't know what he's talking about. You can, can't let us up here and talk to somebody that never picked up a football, took a snap a day in his life. You don't even know what he's talking about. So then he runs around. You know what I mean? He says all these things, causing these issues, right? And so, like you said, they needed somebody like that. So they went and got him. They put him on there. And then, you know. What do you say about the part of the doc? <laughs> Yeah, this is a, such a great doc. There's so many questions to ask him. What do you have to say to the piece that said y'all were recruiting the kids like via DM or via social media and you were pitching that they would be a part of some D1 athletic shit? What do you say to those kids that were saying, hey, we were pitched one thing and then something different happened? Well, then they weren't listening. What we do is provide an opportunity for you to be seen. And we know that that to be true because we have players that play D1 and players that have offers from D1 schools. So the school that you normally go to doesn't take you to camps. We start in May. We get two buses. We load up an entire bus, whether you come to our school or not, and we go and we visit colleges and get you in front of all these coaches so these coaches get an opportunity to see you. Now, because the education system is fucked up and you have a .83 GPA, you probably have to go to JUCO. But JUCO is backed up with all the kickbacks. So the only way you're really going to get a shot is to be in a situation where you go to camp and the coaches know about you prior to you coming to JUCO. So that's why to this day, I still get calls from coaches anytime you want to check my DMs about players that we had to come to camps that are in JUCO that have run there two years. The system worked. I just didn't have money. Hey, coach, I do. But just to make myself clear, I do believe there to be extreme politics in high school athletics. Maybe. I never had to deal with that. Well, they said you didn't have a school. That's what they said. So what? They say a lot of shit. So You're getting I, back to the original question, why I decided to open a school, I told you. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh, okay. Go ahead, ask. So where your school was no, at? Where, 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 hold on a second. <laughs> Go back to the question. Why did I open the school? I said. But wait, we still didn't get to if a school was open. Exactly. School was open. It was a school. They're just saying. They're just saying that. It's just not true. There's students that get credits. You can come here and take an online program and get credits. That's so what the online school. Is. It's, you, we offer we are a program that offers academics through an online service. So the kids come here and play football. Mm -hmm. They get their laptops. They go on and they can earn their credits. It's no different than any other school. It's no different than a homeschool. The problem is people didn't read the law. The law in Ohio says that you can have a homeschool, which is called a non-charter, non-tax school. That's exactly what I had. I Yo, had a homeschool but, with a bunch of niggas that was playing football. But watching the dog is like, why do you even know some of these laws, Coach Roy? Because my mother was a gangster. Two-parent home? Absolutely. My mother was a gangster. And my mother told me, she said, when you decide to do business, you got to find out exactly where you're exposed. So before you get start a business, no matter what it is, you need to get two people. Three, but two people I'm going to talk about now. You need to get an attorney. You need to get an accountant. So I said, you know what? This church thinks that they can open up a school and we can open school and have football and all that. What's the best way to do that? So I went to an attorney that specialized in education and I said, what in the law will allow me to do this? Then that person goes and looks in the law and says, we have an NCNT rule in Ohio. It goes back to the My point of what I'm what saying- What does NCNT stand for? Non-charter, non-tax school. Gotcha. So I didn't take any state money or state funds. And so I knew, my, I knew what I was doing was justified the day I found out that in Ohio, they have a school. My point is, you can look it up if you want, there's a school where they can raise in all their beliefs, and you motherfuckers got a problem with me getting a bunch of niggas playing football? Why ain't y'all getting on your Twitter fingers and running your little bitch ass around and going to find that out? So they set up there and they wrote a whole little roll book. They issued um, a license to us. And then when we were on the investigation, again, y'all read it for yourself. It said, unless they change the laws, Bishop Sycamore can continue to operate. So if I can continue to operate, which we are, which we will, I'm a school. Y'all don't have to like that it's been school. Y'all don't have to believe in what I believe. <laughs> but guess what? You didn't say shit about the either. This guy's good. He is. He's, he's about to Google it. Yeah, he's he's right. Right. looking exactly. at it. Yeah, he's, he's looking at it. Exactly. Look at it. exactly. Got what does it say? Got Ohio Department early. of Education is not going to do anything about the yes, So y'all going to sit up here. Wait. So y'all going to sit up here and make a whole HBO film because I lost to the same score 
that the state Ohio champion lost the very next week. So y'all talking about me losing 58-0, the Ohio State champion lost 58-7 the very next week. You got a problem with my school, but you're going to let go slow up there and have a school and I say nothing about it? Yeah, if y'all don't get off my dick. Coach Roy, your 58-0 look different than whatever game you talking about that was 58-7. LaSalle, they beat in 58-7. Your, your quarterback went down and they sent out a wide receiver that's slash not true either. DB as the backup. That's not, that's not true either. He certainly didn't look like he had quarterback. He might skills. not have been very good, but that, was kid was from, that kid was from Canada and he had quarterback experience and he put it in there. And the only other kid we put in there with Charlie was the runner option read, which happens all the time with positions. Let's say that don't one thing at a time. He's very Coach slick. Roy. Yeah, yeah, slow yeah, down, one thing Joe. at a time. Slow down. You sent, you this, sent this, that this, Canadian out there against the fifth ranked team in the nation and they beat the brakes <laughs> off of him. Sure did. And they beat the brakes off the very next team the next week. And then you know what they did? They turned around and put 96 and a half. I saw that. On somebody else. Come on, y'all. Like, let's be fair. We're talking yeah. about, yeah. We're, but we're not talking about just final scores. We're talking about the eye test and what we see from kids that don't look like athletes. My question to you is this, because I, I do believe, unlike some of the uh, naysayers out there, I do believe that you cared about these kids. Some call of me, them. call me, <laughs> some of them. Yeah, well, yeah. keep it real. Some I of do them. believe that yeah. you cared about some of the kids. My Correct. question to you is this: What would you say? to the people or the crowd that says, if you cared about these kids, how could you have them in that game looking that way? They was just getting their heads knocked off the whole time. It was funny to me in my living room, but if y'all not trained, mm -hmm. if y'all not trained for this know, type of shit, you know then the why y'all out here? All right, do you want to know the answer to that? You guys can look this up too. Do you know the date we played IMG that day? I don't, I don't know the date. What's the date? I don't know. I don't know the August date. August 29th. Okay. If you go look at two of our players on September 1st, they had two D1 offers. That's why we did it. Where do I find that? You might just be saying some shit. I never say shit that I can prove. I would never lie about something I can prove. Go ahead. His name is Armand Scott. Look at the date he got the offer. September 1st, 2021, he got the offer from Syracuse. And we're saying that that is as a result of that game? Absolutely. That's what they said because they got to see him. Because they got an opportunity people. to they watch They got the him. opportunity to play. People don't understand That's it, true. right? You don't understand the fact that you could score 58-0, 58-7, and then my team, who's just a bunch of niggas chilling around the way trying to play, the same that a perennial state school called LaSalle scores, the same thing. That's why our rankings were so high. You can't say nothing. Think about this. For playing teams, top 100, 250 teams, we won 25% of our games. 25% of our games. Talk to me. 25% of my games, I'll take that against any of the rest of these schools. Because guess what? The inner city schools aren't going to go play these big schools. These inner city schools aren't get the experience. You know why? Because the coaches don't give a fuck. And you know why? Because OSHA doesn't give a fuck. Because you're paying $10 a ticket to come see a kid that you're setting up for failure anyway. So then when he shows up to my school, now you want to talk shit. See, I thought that was one of the missteps in the scam. You said I should stay low under the radar, right? I thought that the, tele the nationally televised game against IMG, the fifth ranked team at the time, is going to bring heat to my establishment and my organization. Yeah, but, it did. But is Frank Lucas wearing the, the chinchilla? That's what I think. The difference is Frank Lucas was selling drugs. I wasn't selling drugs. I was doing something that was in the I'm just saying it's exposing. It was exposing. You wasn't selling drugs, kids, but they was two, getting smacked. In two, in two. <laughs> <laughs> they, was getting, <laughs> they was getting smacked around. <laughs> Rapper brain kicked in on that one. <laughs> yeah, but, but that's the thing. IMG beats everybody like that. You know what I mean? So, so the fact of the matter is, because they beat them so bad, it wasn't any difference. The difference is that I played them on TV. Now, whether that's right or wrong or good or bad, that's a whole different part of the discussion. Like I said, kids got offers after that. Now, what do you have to say to back having scheduled back-to-back -back games on the schedule? I tell people that I love Saquon Barkley a lot, and I look at the high school that he played for, and look at the first ESPN game that was aired in high school football. It was aired on Thanksgiving, which is a Thursday. They took a pause on Friday and then played in a playoff game on Saturday against a school called Phillipsburg. So I figured since those perennial teams did it, it would be okay for me to do it. Next. Who are they talking to? Let, let me ask you a question. <laughs> who are they talking to? But wait, wait, wait. Like, you know, who they that mean, people, but, You're just but, a fast. Hold on, slow down. You're just a Roy. fast talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah Coach Roy. Roy. Look it up. No, no, no. That Let's shit ain't going to fly up there. Slow down. Slow down. You want to look it up? It could be shocking. Coach Roy, chill out. It could be true. Do they do it? No, it could be true. Let me ask you a question. Listen, listen. You know the rules is different for black people in America, Coach Roy. Let me bring up Saquon's high school. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What high school that nigga went to? Easton Phillipsburg. Is that a white school? Oh, shit. He knows shit, though. Is that a white school? Because here's the problem. I'm telling you, I'm telling you it's, of course it's a white school. And it, this is what I'm telling you. What I'm saying right now is...
The reason I talk fast is because I sat down and I study, and this is what we're going to do before. That's what happened with HBO. See, with HBO, when I sat down the first time and talked to them, they said, you, you remember the whole, high, the, whole, the whole cover of this was I duped and lied to ESPN that I had D1 players. Yes. Yeah. Know, guess what happened when I sat down with uh, ESPN? I mean, on HBO, I told them, I said, I don't make people D1. They were like, then how could you say that? I was like, because 247 Sports and Rivals does. And then they opened up their laptop. They started looking at the players on there. And guess what they had? D1 offers. So that whole thing was made up by the little bitch guy that you said, my nemesis. My man. Yeah, yeah, Captain man, America. You know. So that's Captain America came running, <laughs> right? Let's, stop, let's yeah. stop Roy because he's lying about these guys that had D1 offers. And guess what happened when they went down that list? D1, 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 D1. Well, because, take- what I, because what people don't understand is football is turning into, high school football is turning into AAU. You get your offers during camps over right. the summer. Mm-hmm. You're not getting them during the year. He's right. He's just- and then what happened is when it was time to go, I was like, look, we running out of bread. We got to make a splash. <laughs> this is it. Where we were gonna you getting your we we Where were you getting the bread? I said we got we can run Where you get your bread from? Where you bread? Where you get your money from? How were you funding all of this yeah. shit after the church pulled out? After the church pulled out, I had a lot of generous parents and people that were. Um, oh, in we got them. We got them. I thought they was homeless kids. You, you had benefactors. These niggas had parents. Yeah, some of them had parents. Some of them had parents. Matter of fact, that's how we paid for the trips that we took. Like so, what summer. was your pitch to them? To parents? Yeah. Same pitch that I'm going to tell you, and the same pitch that I tell people now that was going to help our program. If you really want to help our people, start with education and start with an avenue that allows them to get education for free. And the easiest way to do that is in sports. It builds camaraderie. It gives it a chance to watch what Deion Sanders does, and you see what it does. Now, Deion Sanders is a little bit different because he has all that behind him. But if you look at that, that's what you can do. So I tell people. If your goal was to help nah, he, underprivileged and underserved kids and also coach high school football, wasn't there... Um, a more established, legitimized way to do it if to that go was about what it. was truly in your heart. Sure. Like, if, coach, I more, like if I had more money. Co- like the Coach Prime shit should be like a, well, I think you want to take Coach Prime because it should be like. Uh, yeah, but instant. I don't want to talk about Coach Prime because if I talk about Coach Prime, then I'm going to say something. I don't, I don't want to say anything against what he's doing. So I think what he's doing is a good job. But that would but be that's hate. Deontay, and I'm not hating. That's just Deion But Sanders. if you was to say something but against it, him, it would be hate. Right. That's no one wouldn't so be So he don't want to hate. And what I'm saying is you look at Deion Sanders and where he started, and then follow the path. It's a similar path. Now, I'm not saying it's a similar path. We did the same things. I'm not saying Deion Sanders didn't pay these bills. I'm not saying that Deion Sanders had a charter school that failed. I'm not saying any of that. All okay. I'm simply saying is that Deion Sanders started, and he started this. He just had more resources than I did. And guess what? I'm happy that he did it, and I'm happy he's doing what he does, right? Because to me, it justifies in my heart that I can get to that point. Not to Deion Sanders' point. But if I'm willing to work hard, do the right things, and learn from my mistakes, we can move forward. Were you paid to be in the HBO doc? I'm pleading the fifth. No, I was not pleading to be paid to be in the world doc. Who said that? Oh, you would have had to have been. Come on. No, no. I wasn't paid to be in the doc. Oh, please. I was not paid to be in the doc. Real shit? I was not paid to be in the doc. <laughs> you, just, you just gave him that love? Just like I'm giving you this love. Well, I'm cool. <laughs> I'm, cool. I'm giving you love, but I'm giving I'm you love. Cool. Let me ask you a question. I'm not I'm trying cool. to paint you the certain way. Them niggas had an agenda. Yeah, they yeah. sure did. And I love that agenda because that was a focus on what I did wrong. And some of the stuff that they said in there, I did wrong. Well, what was that stuff? The fucking gut, duck or whatever, the goose. I hit that shit. Oh, shit. And, I, and uh, the guy that, the guy that, the guy, yeah, I hit the goat. I, I hit the fucking goose, geese, meese, moose. Like, hit hit the them shits, man. The yeah. Fuck, yeah, what do you mean? <laughs> What are y'all can't talking him, about? Y'all, okay, let's take a step back because y'all be missing what I'm saying. There's a <laughs> school in Ohio <laughs> and you niggas is talking about a duck. Man, y'all get the fuck out of here with that shit. I'm sitting over here telling you what's wrong with our people and you niggas, but the duck, the duck. <laughs> and then the Florida, nigga, the Florida nigga that said it, the Florida nigga that said it, like, Coach Roy ran over the duck. I'm looking at this nigga like, nigga, I seen film of you and your people's running around chasing rabbits all the time and picking them up and... And killing them. So what the fuck is you talking about? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, let me ask you a question. Bro. Yeah, man, some dumb shit. Yeah. Nah, nah, I'm gonna ask you a question. A Canadian goose at that. I took notes for him. This guy's the man. <laughs> That's a Canadian, a Canadian goose that we talking about. You know what I'm saying? I was in a rush to get these niggas to camp. Came around the corner. There was a ducks. I couldn't get on the brakes fast enough. I'm sorry. So I'm not about to just have everybody flying around the car and hurting themselves and all that other stuff because some damn Canadian geese didn't want to move, man. Come on. I hit the gas. You just hit the gas. (laughs) Them motherfuckers are so dumb. They said I hit the gas. There's no proof of that. 
<laughs> there's no proof that I hit the, the people gas. in the car. Like, I'm like, there's no proof. Listen, and here the thing, here the thing, and my books, and here the here it is because you know, no, because you, no, you already know the, the film is made by liberal, liberal, liberal animal lovers. Niggas getting killed, so what? There's a duck over here. Like that's what it was made by, so it was made to look that way. But the reality of it is, people hit ducks all the time, man. Like y'all act like we ain't from New York. You know how many pigeons is getting taken out? Cars is undefeated in these streets, man. What do you have to say? <laughs> to the kids that they showed or young adults that they showed. Make up your mind, too. That's another thing we need to talk about. Niggas is kids or they adults. So make up your mind. Because well, if they're kids, they're kids. Let's rock with it. We you can... staffed them. You would know. I know exactly what they were. They were the age that was legal for them to play high school football. So they so, I'm, whoa, whoa, I'm whoa, saying whoa, it was whoa, kids whoa. talk. I know, I know. I'm, get I'm conjuring it. Get him, get him, I'm, I'm asking a question. I'm conjuring it. Get what, what was that age? 19 at the start of the season. What's the legal age in the state of Ohio to commit a crime and go to a federal penitentiary? Depending on the crime. Because you got a lot of people that are 15 that, that take uh, man time. Seldom. So, yeah, well, so. I said federal penitentiary. So. Oh, federal. My fault. My fault. I didn't hear you. That's a good question. I would assume 18. Okay. So, if they legally able to play football at 19, mm -hmm. that, but the state says they're adults legally, they can't be kids and adults at the same time. Then that looks like a problem that you need to take up with the state of Ohio. <laughs> like, I didn't write the rules. Again, this goes back to what I, I said. Not, I didn't I, write the rules. Well, what do you have to say, whether they was kids or young adults? Some of them niggas was texting their moms pictures of the mac and cheese. That shit looked like some soup mac so and told, cheese. So I told you before. Anyway, look serious. Crazy. It looked yeah, flagrant. It looked crazy. Them yeah. kids said the one they, picture. No, no. Not, not, multiple pic not multiple pictures. Not multiple pictures. It was pictures. one picture. It was, it was one picture and it was before it gets put in. It was quiche. Before it gets put in to be cooked. But I'm not even going to talk about that because I told you about foul, that. Though. It did look foul. Did and you eat it? Listen, hold on a second. No, we're going to get to the joke. We're going to get to the joke part. We're going to get to the Yeah, we're going to talk about the first part of it and then we'll go back to if I ate it or not. So uh, we had two people that uh, spent their time. One of them is named Maisha, and uh, she had a heart disease, and she passed. And mm -hmm. she was going through that while Condolence. cooking. And the second one, and I don't want to put her business out there, she uh, was going fighting cancer. So okay. she, was go she would go to chemo and then come back and cook for these niggas. So I'm not going to sit up here and let these niggas put one picture on there, say, what the fuck was we eating and that crazy when these niggas was eating all the time. See, one joke, I'm hustling chickens. Another joke, these niggas ain't eating. So you can't have hopes. The chicken, the chicken, right. chicken, chicken scam was, was great. Good. That was Thank good. you. I appreciate I like that. that. I like yeah. that. that was good. Yeah, that was give good. me my props when I deserve it. Because that did a lot of fucked up shit, but that ain't it. It's going to sound inconsiderate. But if I'm a kid playing sports for the school, kind of. Mm -hmm. There's no kind of. You're playing for an organization that provided you an and academic there, opportunity it, that was registered and certified by the state of Ohio. And you want to get any <laughs> further, why well, I got to cut you off on this. The program that we use is called Graduation Alliance. Graduation is a great, 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 great system. If you go on to the Ohio Department of Education, they just signed a contract with, guess what? Graduation Alliance. Thank you. You're welcome. Speaking so of, if I didn't have a school and my program wasn't legit, how did the state of Ohio turn around and then sign a contract with the same company that we were using for education. Now you can have a school. If you had a school that was, and it was legit. My school what, was legit. Why what, you keep saying it's not legit, bro? I can't let you say that. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll take it back. The what, documentary what do said you it was legit. What do you have to say to Youth mm -hmm. Build? Yeah, when they stepped up. When Youth Build came out and said, hey, <laughs> we are not in any association with anything Coach Roy is doing, his team, or any of that shit. And Did, Youth Build, they said, was the academic arm of... Yeah, for our second year, Youth Build was the academic arm for our... Uh, youth association. Build on the dock said, nah, we don't fuck with that nigga. Yeah, that's obviously not true. If I was sending 45 kids to their school, would you think I was just sending them there for fun? Like I said, they can't prove that. I can prove that our kids were going to Youth Build. Because guess what? They went into the building and went to Youth Build. So what do you think about the kids saying that they was hungry? I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm hungry too. Yo, man. coach, chill out, man. I'm hungry. Stop that shit, man. Stop. Enough. I'm Enough, hey, yo, nigga. Yo, <laughs> enough, nigga. I don't know who they thought nah, they was playing nah, with. Fuck that. Yeah. I don't yeah. no, 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 clap for this nigga. Yeah, no. no clap for this nigga, man. Yeah, what are you talking I'm about? Hungry I'm hungry too, though. I'm hungry too. I'm hungry. We all hungry, but you no, can't I say that. I just told you. I just told you. that was hungry, what do you say to them? The kids that said they were hungry, what do you say to them? I'm hungry too. We hungry together. I feel what you feel. It's called empathy. I empathize with you. Uh, he's got oh, Joe empathy. Shit, he's, an empath. <laughs> he's an empath. <laughs> he's empath. Okay. I empathize with you. Would you know why I empathize with you? I empathize with you that you can't eat. I empathize that you're hungry. I empathize that you're hungry on the football field. 
I'm, I empathize that you're hungry for a parent's love and everything else because your parents wasn't shit, and that's why you're here. Oh, shit, doc. And that's the part that y'all don't want to talk about because you think that people are going to say this or say that, and that's what you guys thought when you saw the documentary. Well, well, when you say that you want to help underserved kids, yep. you can't then turn around and say your parents ain't shit. <laughs> that's yeah. why, no, but that's the you truth. you advantage of those parents. Nigga, How by, did I take advantage them, of parents? By they letting them know that you're going to help their kids. Now you're saying their parents ain't shit. You yeah. came in as a savior. Yeah, what well, you talking right? about? But so if you what? acknowledge their parents ain't shit and then you can't I feed can't the what? motherfuckers and you ain't shit too. Nigga. Yeah, but you saying Yo, I didn't feed them. And that's not true. And that's not true. And then you're not talking about the kids that are in college right now. So the program's not going to help everybody. Not everybody's going to be helped by the program. Okay. So what you're saying is your parents ain't shit. That's why you're here. And there's some kids here where their parents are participating and helping, and their parents are shit, and they're going to spread their love to you too. So that's why some of you guys are now playing college football. Some of you are going for it. And like I said, there's one kid who is paralyzed. He can't stand up. And we can call him anytime you want. And he'll say the same thing. There's a kid named Josh Bogan, Jeremy Naborn. I can give you these names of these people that you can go and research and they'll tell you like, yo, that was my experience. The experience was for a select few and what their truth was and they put that out there and that's okay. That's what they said. There's truth. I'm telling what did happen and Listen, didn't happen. I, went to, a few Let summer, me ask you a I went to a few summer camps and if the lady that was undergoing chemo was making my ham and cheese, I would have had something to say too. No, bigger than that. Let me I'd ask be you upset I would have but she was, you a But she wasn't making ham and cheese. She was making different meals and stuff like that. It wasn't the point that she was making ham but and you cheese. But you brought the fact that she was sick to, to say what? Like, that so that she might, she they might ain't have going to let them she, kick her back she, in. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm not, yeah, oh, I'm that, not gonna, oh, that. So I'm not, not going to let them dog not, me. Not, like, not the, hold on, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, wait, wait. You fact, might not have liked it. Not the fact that she was sick and she couldn't cook properly at the moment. No, no, you're no, just no, saying no, that. No. So that's not yeah, what you're saying. You're just saying that you're not going to let them play. Do you think that some of them kids on that dock was liars? I am not going to call somebody a liar. All I'm just going to say is that the stuff that they said happened in some of those situations. from what your version what actually happened now I'm not going to sit up here because now they now these people are saying that they have mental health issues and all oh, those other shit. issues right? oh, they're trying oh, to so get they, oh, they're trying the to get buzzword buzzword you got mental you. issues they're trying so to the get you nigga, the fat nigga that's up there one the one that want to be a oh, rapper shit, the fat I, nigga I, 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 yo, 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 yo the fat nigga that want to be the, want to be the rapper or is the rapper excuse me so he is a rapper this dude was up with us for a total of three weeks so he was with us in three weeks and in that three weeks he all of a sudden now is homeless, has to do fundraising because of that, and now has mental health issues because he spent three weeks with us. And then, you know what the kicker of all this is? He wasn't even at the IMG game. You see, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's just the other side of it. You need somebody who's going to say something crazy. You better say something crazy. You 6'9", 350 and trying to rap. Like, you better, yeah, you, you, better, you better say a whole lot about Roy so people see you. <laughs> how, I'm sure you're about to see you on nothing else. Could you many? imagine going to concert? Rest in peace. The first time I saw DMX, I was so surprised how small he was. You know what I mean? Same with Ludacris. I'm like, these rappers are short. Then this dude coming here, three DMX talls, talking about. But it better hurt him, though. Like, this nigga. That's, this hate, nigga that's said, hate. That's hate. That's hate. You damn no. right, it's hate. The nigga lied. This man. Uh, niggas not committed a federal crime. That's a hate. You, oh, that's what I'm thinking. Lucky that's what I'm doing. I coach Robocop. Relax. My fault, my nigga. The production team. Fuck my nigga. You're throwing federal crimes at me. You over here like. Yeah. He tight, he tight. Yo. Yeah. Joe, you bogged out. Yo, let me ask you a question, man. Right? No, this is my bad. Yo, guys, this is my man right here. I don't give a fuck what they say about him. This is my bad. <laughs> I don't know them kids. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know none of them kids. You don't want to know none of them kids. Uh, why? Right. What? Why you said that? Because that's a special calling and a purpose for you to deal with young men like that. That's true. Well, you agree. don't want to know. You don't want to know that because, it, like I said, I there's both sides of it, that. right? right there's that. both sides of that. Yeah. Like it's the funny side that we do in the joke, and then there's the hurt side of it, right? Mm -hmm. So it's the Calvins I talk about. Josh Bogan, I talk about him all the time because he was the big quarterback that was played linebacker that made us famous. Mm -hmm. He's our Michael Jordan for the Bishop Sycamore. He looked Sycamore. good. Yeah. He, he looked good. He's, he's that guy, but let me tell you something. Homeless, wasn't anywhere, needed where to go. If you call him up right now, he was like, you saved my life, man. I put him on a big stage against Cleveland State Ignatius. Four offers, Tennessee, Cincinnati, Indiana. Now, fortunately, because of his high school, he had to go to JUCO. But think about how that affected him. And then you grow, you, you get a brotherhood and a bond with that. You know, Javen Peterson, who's up uh, playing at John Carroll, one of the top academic colleges in Ohio. How did he get there? The school wasn't real. Yeah, see? You're not putting both sides of it. And then you build relationships with these people. When you build those relationships and you see where they've come from bad to good, they grow. There's can so I, much positive. Can I hear more about your working history? Okay, what you want to know? I want to know everywhere you've worked at in life. <laughs> <laughs> that so, had a 1099 oh, or a yeah. W-2. Now the real places. Okay. Yeah, all right. So uh, the first job I had was at Mountain View Bible Camp. Shout out to my church. Uh, I worked at a Mountain View Bible Camp 
um, and I was helping with maintenance. My second job was McDonald's, and uh, part of some of my mental health issues probably came from McDonald's. That's where I became in love with sodium. And then after I left okay. uh, McDonald's, my next job after that was uh, Edwards Food. And then the serious answer to this question, my first major job was uh, the New York Jets. I had an internship with the New York Jets. Oh, yeah, no, I already know you're part of the Bill Belichick tree. Oh, yeah, you think so? I wish I, I was. I man. put you on that tree. No, you interned for the Jets, nigga. It was him and Bill Barcel. Yeah, so. Why are you right, not down? I'm, I'm going to tell you why. Because uh, I didn't actually interview for the job and get the job, the internship. My mom did. Huh? So I went in to go interview, and Bill Parcells and uh, Bill Belichick walked down the hall, and Leon Hess was there when I was getting interviewed, and I froze. I couldn't say anything. And my mom literally started talking on my behalf, and she was talking all that, and my mom had them laughing and everything else. And they were like, man, they were like, somebody has a mom like you, we'd be happy to have an internship. So I actually got the first interview I actually did. I bombed and my mom uh, bailed me out. Shout out to mama. Love. Shout out yeah. But you know, you know, some, you know, and this is just, like I said, these are just gems that were dropped on me that helped mold the person I am today. Uh, when we left, I said, mom, that was Bill Parcells. <laughs> I was like, ah, you know what I mean? Like he just walked down the hallway and, and there's a guy named Mark Riccio and he was a big v, uh, executive over there. And I was like, how could you talk to those people? She said, baby, I talked to God every day. Talking to him was nothing. Hmm. And I carry that with me all the time. So, you know, when people ask, like, how did you have the guts to go here and talk to this and all that? Literally, before I go in there, I'm like, Lord, I'm going to talk to you first. So talking to this mere mortal should be nothing. Mm, I got that up. from my mom, Dukes. Clap it up, clap it up. Clap it up, clap it up man. Let's A lot of times, moms, the mom starts, moms <laughs> will start our scamming career. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she showed sure yeah. that. His mom was she said his Yeah, my mom was the gangster. Shout out to Charlie Clips. My mom was the gangster of my family. Got it. You know what I mean? So, my dad, my dad had a, uh, my dad special rap? too. Right? You in the battle rap? Into battle rap. Did you see uh, Geechee and e vs. Easy? Listen, I just talk about the black captain. I was talking that with my OG over there. He's my manager. And my manager, ironically, uh, he was the second person that I got into college. Since I'm so bad and I'm not helping nobody. What are you doing today to stay involved with high school athletics? And what are you doing today that still shows your passion toward helping young kids? I'm recruiting my team and I'm getting phone calls to play other games. What do you mean? I'm about Wait, to play. What team? Teams want to play us. Wait, I'm what about team? to play the teams. I can't tell you that because I don't want to deal with cancer culture. See, cancer culture doesn't bother me, but it bothers other organizations. But guess what happens when Bishop Sycamore shows up and plays? Ticket sales. Wait, Bishop Sycamore is still a thing? Let me tell you something. Coach I'm Roy. not going anywhere. I don't understand why people didn't understand <laughs> that. From the I'm not going anywhere. Say it loud and proud. Tell all the 10 million people that are watching. I told you I'm not going anywhere. I'm so good. I can't cancel me. So I tried. I, go to, I woke up in the morning and was like, cancel you. Cancel. Went so, to sleep, woke up, so it's still, was again. Is it still the athletic arm with uh, online class? Is it still set still up gonna, the same way? I'm still going to provide online classes for these young men to take to earn these credits to advance their future in but athletics how and school. are you making the money? Put me down. <laughs> how is it being done? I think That's, it's, a, listen, it's, it's such listen, a beautiful scam. Yeah. I can't even figure out how, where because, it, because you said it before, bro. Joke it's not a scam. Too. It's not a scam. Joke I'm spending, fast too. This is a pyramid, some type of ap it's not. <laughs> athletic pyramid you know, this, this scam. Is, let, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something why it's so, it's so effed up, right? When a nigga just want to go out and help and spend his money instead of on bikes but is, it your, is it your money, though? It's my money. When I say my money, I mean other people that want to be involved and help pay some of the bills. Or donations, yeah. too. Yeah. Donations. Not donations. People that are involved with the program. So, for instance, to go to camp costs around fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 in buses, right? So we have about 10, 15 parents that we know can afford to pay $1,000, $1,500. That's enough to pool it together. And I say, all right, you guys can afford to pay for everybody who doesn't. You guys just come along for free. You have to give back. To and that's, that's where the non-eating yeah. thing came in. The what? <laughs> the non-eating thing. They only we got don't, twenty we for the got buses. Money for the buses. Stupid. Man, they was eating, man. These dudes was eating, man. Yo, know. let me ask you a question. I'm it's so eating and then it's eating. <laughs> I'm so tired of them niggas. <laughs> I'm so tired of them niggas saying that shit. Yo, that shit is so. The six like, nine three hundred fifty pound nigga. Two hundred fifty ain't gonna cut it. Did he say? Did he say he wasn't eating? No. Two hundred fifty ain't gonna cut it. There was no way. There's no way he wasn't eating. They said they were stealing from the supermarket. Ain't nobody told him to steal from the supermarket. That chicken shit was fire. Nah, them bad parents again. Them That's some shitty, them shitty ass parents that they Bad got. home training. It's bad home training. That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, so you still have a school. Oh, man. And, and kids still want to play for you. Of course. Regardless of what these 
the rumors and shit. You know why? Say. Because there's a need. Desperation. And there's a need. Now, whether you call that desperation, whether you call that just the luck of the draw, where you go, there's a need for that. Mm-hmm. And because there's going to be a need for that, guess what? It's just like you said. Some of these dudes like, yo, some of the shit might be foul, but he was helping me. I'm in college now. Mm-hmm. He helping me. I had nowhere to go. And then the thing that I keep going back to talk about your Jeremy Naborns, your Josh Bogans, your Javen Petersons, your Calvin Dawsons, because you can go and look at Calvin Dawson's uh, Instagram and he's out there in a the wheelchair coaching up the next generation of little kids to come out and play basketball and stuff like that. So like I told people before, the brotherhood and the strength of Bishop Sycamore is not going to be eaten up by three people in an HBO documentary. There's going to be another Bishop Sycamore because there's going to be another brother that cares enough and sees it where he's going to come out and help. And then, you know, more power to them. And more power to me for getting part two of this doc. <laughs> Are you shitting me? Another one is coming. <laughs> yeah. You, know, no. you yeah. just shoot your own shit. Yeah, that's why I'm why here. Why you don't shoot your own shit and tell a real story that's, of... That's, that's why I'm here because it's, it's, it's just the other side of the story. It's not to say that those things that happened didn't, did happen. Not, didn't happen. But that's the part more, that it's saying. Because people are yeah, yeah, people going to say like, oh, oh, you did that. So Michael Strahan said, um, it's never the right time to do the wrong thing. And it's so easy to say that when you're at the top of the mountain and you don't climb it, ain't it? Mm. It's easy to say that. It's never the right time to do the wrong thing. Don't try to yeah. gospel quote me out of the mix here. I'm not. That's what he said. He said it was never the right time. No, he's, he's, he's good. No, he's he's, good. He, said, he said it's never the right time to do the wrong thing, right? And unfortunately, the country we live in did the wrong thing at the right time. I don't know what Mike Strayan said. I was watching Regis. The, the re- <laughs> he said uh, the real after the, um, so, you know, they do the um, little red carpet event thing, right? So mm-hmm. we do the red carpet event and, um, you know, it was a time for the producers to get up there and say some stuff. So the producers got up there and said, I'm charming, he's cunning, he's hilarious, but he's extremely untrustworthy. And then Michael Strahan got up there and said, Roy, I want you to know, it's never the right time to do the wrong thing. And I was like, yeah, but I guess that depends on your perspective like anything else, right? Because let me tell you something, you know what was the wrong thing? George Washington and them to commit treason against England. <laughs> that was the wrong thing to do. Had they lost, Yo, had they lost, let's talk. Had they lost, they would have been tarred, Yo, feathered, shot, and hung. Hey, hey, is that real? That's not real. No, I'm talking, I'm talking to the white guy. I'm talking to the white guy. Had they lost, had George Washington have lost, what would have happened to him? Uh, Please tell me. Uh, he committed treason against the king. They Please probably killed him. They would have killed him, right? Mm-hmm. But he didn't lose. So because he didn't lose, guess what we doing? On the 4th of July, we shooting up fireworks and all that to say, we whooped your ass, Mr. King. We committed treason, and we over here chilling. <laughs> so I guess it just depends on when is the right time to do the wrong thing and are, the wrong thing to do the right time. Are, are you married? Me? Yes. No, I'm not married. <laughs> are you involved? Are you in a relationship? No, I'm not in a relationship. Well, when was the last one? La- last relationship that I had? Yeah. It's a person? What do you mean? Female? Mm-hmm. I don't know if I need no, to No, I said, that. when was the last relationship? Um, I don't know. That's a long it, time it, ago. It can be hard. Nah, nah, it can it, be it, hard it, to find time well, for love while you're while you're. Yeah, why are you asking my kids? man these questions, bro? Because I saw the doc, but he's right. I want to learn more about Coach Roy, the person. Oh, I want to know if he's walking in the house at the end of the night and there's a woman or somebody there say, hey, fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> hey, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> what do you feed so, those kids? So, so... <laughs> Um, no, there's nobody that's doing that. And the people that I was in a relationship with would help out with the program. So they were cooking. So they were getting disrespected too. But, people um, as in multiple people at once? No, not multiple people okay. at once at different oh, times. I would never, it. I would through never, the years. Yeah, through the years, right? Yeah, so, so I would do that. I ain't shit. Oh. So <laughs> that one of the things that, one of the things that we need to discuss is, is, when what you're the talking, fuck is going on? Yeah, this nigga, <laughs> I love I'm it. lost, nigga. Nah, what are you talking about? Nigga crazy. What are you lost about? Ask him whatever you want. You no, know? nigga, this nigga's <laughs> fucking <laughs> bringing me down a whirlwind. Flip. He said <laughs> that he's a fan of your work. Salute. That's I don't give a fuck. This nigga's a slickster, nigga. Said I'm, I'm, got you a slickster. Me? You a slickster. Not too much of our guests. You just turned to me for this nigga? Oh, this nigga, what, bruh? For Coach Roy? You don't call George Washington this nigga. He fired him. He just he said no cool. Yo, he said fuck that. Put him on that. Love your, your PTSD. He said his people's got PTSD you from your Annie up. Clip. RJ, nephew, you get good. Am I am I holding up too long? I can talk all day. Uh, no, yeah, hold me. All right, so there's no. I like this guy. I want to know what your what your what your worst ex would say about you if we had her here. Ooh. Well, I mean, we know that it was in a documentary. Your ex was in a doc. Yeah, the whole domestic violence thing. 
that was the worst thing that the two of the worst things that two of the worst thing and and I could I could pick out what they would say. The one would say um, the domestic violence that I had because that was the worst thing that happened between me and that person. That was that was dropped down to a uh, disturbing the peace. So there was that. And the second worst thing um, was a little bit emotional, so I don't really get into it. But um, the second worst thing I did, I had gotten an argument with my parents uh, mm. right when my mom got sick, and I left. And then my sister called me and was like, um, "Mom's in the hospital." And then I came back, and we made peace. But that's when she died. So those are the two. Those are the two worst mistakes that I made personally, like outside of Bishop Sycamore, because I made a lot of mistakes in that. But Shrek. So if you had to put your finger on some of the mistakes that you say you made in Bishop Sycamore. From a real perspective, like mm-hmm. a grown-up perspective, mm-hmm. what would they be? I shouldn't have ran over that duck. Well, you said that. Yo, you still playing, man. I'm asking, <laughs> yeah, you said that. I'm trying to Yo, keep the light, man. Nah, man, I'm, I'm asking ask you from a real perspective. Oh uh, yeah. What, well, what the first they? thing is when the church pulled when the per, when the church pulled out, I should have shut down the program and sent them all home. Yeah. Right? All right. But there I we didn't. Go. But there I didn't. But I didn't do that because I didn't do that because a lot of them had nowhere to go. So I was like, man, we're gonna figure this out, and then you know we turn on the hustle. But also, if you do that, then the scam is over. It's not a scam. It's nothing illegal. Scam, listen, let's define scam. Scam is if I do something and then I benefit from it, right? I scammed you out of $100. I was going to ask you. I scammed you out of $100. What did I scam them out of? I didn't make any money. I lost money. I lost lots of money. Condos, cars, a whole lot of stuff. No, you made some money. Somewhere in this, you made some money. I didn't make any money. That's the, I'm trying no, to tell no, you. No, 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 no. Listen, I'm not buying that. Yo, you I'm can't. Not it, 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 I'm not buying no, that. No, I'm not listen, buying that. And you know just because I can't prove you ain't yeah, make no money. Buddy. You this coming in here with some nice skin. You look clean. You got You're your, still in shape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You made You're some money. You're still in football yeah, shape. Yeah. And I think that your brain and your hustle brain is too smart from the way that you are articulating your words and from the things that your mother has instilled upon you that you ain't make no money. That's right. I didn't make any money. I can't prove nigga, that's, it. Nigga, that's, that's, that's serious. Yeah, that's serious you know phase. Money. That's so serious phase don't mean that. nothing, nigga. You talking about yeah, 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 serious? Because here's the thing. Salute. So where do you make money? I had a job. Like, it was a hustle. I was hustling all the time. I was working all the time. I was talking to people. I was I mean, you can look at my bankruptcy. I work make money. I'm not even supposed to. As a matter of fact, you have to take that out. I'm not supposed to say, I'm not supposed to be saying where I work, even though it's public record, but they said they don't want me to say it, but. Oh, you still work for that company. We'll take it out. We'll write it down. Write it down there. But it doesn't matter. It's public record. So the point of what I'm saying is I didn't make any money. There was no profit. None. So when you got whatever money you got, you just invested back into the school. Absolutely. That's how we kept it going. Salute. So you didn't pocket any of that. I didn't pocket any money. That's another thing that the bitch said. The bitch was like, I'm getting thousands of dollars from games and thousands and thousands of dollars a game. And you know what? And I, and I don't necessarily want to get on IMG because I want to say this again. The people at IMG are good people. But ESPN and Paragon, who put this stuff together, how much do you think they paid us to play that game against IMG? All the commercials. How much do you think they paid us? Y'all? How much do you think Your they school? paid us? Mm-hmm. Oh, uh... Let me help you out. When Alabama, when, when Alabama plays, <laughs> when Alabama jacks. plays Coastal, whatever, mm-hmm. a little team, they pay them a million dollars, whatever the case may be. So when you play these beat up teams on the beat up schedules, they pay you. So how much do you think we were worth that game? How much do you think they would pay us? Five hundred. A peanut butter and jelly. Five hundred dollars. You think that peanut butter and jelly? Yeah, sandwich? I don't think they was paying yeah, y'all. Guess much. what? I ain't getting either one of them motherfuckers. I don't think they was paying y'all much. You did it for the look. But the other games, yeah, the look for the culture. The look no, raises I guess, your price. I guess, I guess a favor though, and it raises your price. Right, but they're doing you a favor. Yeah, they're doing us a favor. But guess what? That also means I'm not doing it for the money, right? Because no, I ain't no not money. that game. Not, not that game, Coach Roy. A matter of fact, I'm matter of fact, hold on a second. Listen, man. You remember when you were talking about he got the guy to put the schedule together and all that? Mm-hmm. That's the G right there. That's another that's, that's, that, I that's think, him. But I think that's a mistake. I think that's part of the mistake. As I sit here and talk to you. No, the schedule I love when part. The, plan comes together. the schedule part. Go A team. Hannibal, that's my man. Get it. Stop. Yes, y'all scheduled teams that was too good. No. And that's why? On purpose. Yeah, yeah that's why. why. You're doing that's that on, did on purpose, purpose so that yeah. your kids could get the so looks the that they would the normally exposure. never understand get. understand that. They keep telling the us this look shit. I'm trying to get to the money part of it. That's the problem. That's what I'm telling you. That's the problem. I wish more niggas would understand Were you paid that. to put the schedule together? The no, not at all. So money came from somewhere. What do you mean there's money? What do you my, mean there's My no family money? is too big in high school athletics to know what these schedules and these type of powerhouse and teams from are Ohio. generating and from that Ohio. are not pulling up some money. It's some money coming no, from No, no, I'm not saying there's money, but I'm talking about for us. There was no, there was no, I wasn't driving around a Bentley and made a bunch of money. I ain't say you had a Bentley. You I said some money came from somewhere is what I said. You talking about to help pay for the stuff? Yeah, but you talking about money where I'm making a profit? There's oh, no the accounting. No profit. The accounting. Like them oh, basketball. On it all day. <laughs> like, like, Lawyer and accounting. You can talk to them anytime you want. We spend a lot of expenses. We spend money. High school sports is a cash cow today. 
It is a for cash why he won't leave cow it. today. Listen, he ain't leaving that shit. But it's, it's not money that I'm making. Again, I'm not making any money. I'm not. I'm not going to a game and playing X team and getting fifty thousand, a hundred thousand dollars. I'm not. I get just enough to cover the bus. That's what I do. I break even. That's what this is about. This is so like, you get like fifteen thousand. No, we don't get fifty thousand. Get like two thousand, three thousand, four thousand. Like you don't get twenty, thirty thousand. Not us. Now I don't know what anybody else gets, but we don't uh-huh. get that. And we just and trust me. Everybody seven, look. Like seven, right, you think you're the first guys to try to look? All right. Well, let me try. I ain't this. even trying to look. Hey, well, what we do up what here, Coach Roy? Me. Hold up, man. Fuck that. We pocket watch up here. We do. We pocket watch. We try to connect the dots with the money. So let me tell you how I pocket watch you. Your man that put the schedule together, that looks good. He also looked like... It's a nice t-shirt. He, he looked like he was... Worst, been, worst the job. Looked like he got, was from Staten Island. Looked like he got yeah. some ties. Uh-huh. Places. <laughs> he looks good. He's uh, looking uh, good. Edgewater. He's, Edgewater. He's, He's from Edgewater. Hey, but wait. Not only does he look good, he don't look cheap. At all. You came in with these two over here. You came in with a staff, and they don't look broke or cheap. That was the beginning of my pocket watching. Talk about so are they running around with you out of sheer we, belief in your coaching or are people, yes, or and they people believe. being paid? They believe. Where's the GoFundMe? Where is it? Speaking of GoFundMe, <laughs> speaking of GoFundMe, for all you people out there on Twitter that feel so bad for niggas, why didn't they raise a million dollars already? What you mean? The, the people GoFundMe. Had a GoFundMe. Tell, tell him. Tell him. There was a, two of the players had a GoFundMe because they want to go to college and uh, the other one wants to build a studio. And that was hate. That's not. That's what he wanted to do. That was hate. How much did they make? How much? How much? How much it was a what? The, the tonality. The tonality. Was tonality okay, was listen. Let me tell you something. Verbiage. All right. There's no such thing as tone. Verbiage. Get, get the oh, message of what I'm saying. Y'all gonna get past There's the tone. No such thing as tone. Yeah, this be tone. Like, <laughs> that's where I go wrong too yeah, with the tone. Like, so hold on. Every, everything you say sounds tone. It's a bad bad tone. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you always sound mad. That's why I identify with with you. So did they raise any money in the GoFundMe at all? Uh, I think the rapper has a thousand dollars, and oh, yeah. I think the uh, <laughs> the other one. Has, right. I think the other one has uh, six thousand. Oh, can you look into that camera right, right there, there and talk to the people that and you addressed this already a little bit? But can you address the people that say that you are a narc? Oh, wait, hold up. Can you look in? This camera right here, as soon as our guy does something by the dishwasher. No, he just showed you. Yeah, that well, can you look in this camera and tell us what you have to have to say to the people that were calling you a narcissist? They're uneducated and don't know what narcissist means. I need somebody to look that up and read the definition of narcissist. We don't have We've to. We've done that before. I don't yeah, know how to spell it. Yeah, we don't Joe, why you is it? Joe. How you spell that shit? We know what it is. What's the definition of narcissist? Somebody that thinks highly of themselves. And what? They think highly of themselves and what? That's the definition that we had. So they think highly of themselves and they're not aware or acknowledge other people's feelings. It doesn't affect them. And that's not true because I'm insecure. Now, the actual definition is just a person who has an excessive interest in or admiration of themselves. Yeah, that's That's not the DSM-5. So you got to get to the DSM-5 before you even talk about that. What's that mean? The DSM-5? Well, the DSM-5 is the reigning board over what narcissism is, what sociopathic tendencies are, what's all that. So you just read me. Narcissism versus narcissistic. Yeah. Man. Two yeah. totally different. Two totally different. Yeah, it breaks it all down. Okay. So you go into your DSM-5, you go into your DSM-5, and then you take a look at it and it'll explain to all it is. So one of the things about being a narcissist is the fact that, <clears throat> which is why sometimes they think they are on the spectrum, one of the things is like, I don't recognize the fact that you're sad or I don't care. So I could be a narcissist or have narcissistic tendencies but not necessarily be a narcissist because I care about people. I care about children because guess what? If I didn't, I wouldn't be out here losing all this money trying to help them get into college. Them getting into college doesn't help me. You got a witness right here. You ask him. Did I ever charge him? Did I ever do anything for him? Did I ever tell him to pay me money? This your man, he's the witness? Second kid I put in college. Hey, hold on. Were you hungry? Yeah, why don't you come take a sit right Were here? Were you hungry? Listen, he's trying to make jokes. I'm he ain't hungry. Him. What's going on? Were, you, F- F- Were F- you ever hungry under Coach Roy's tutelage? And I got oodles and noodles in here, nigga. <laughs> See that? See that? See that? They're going to make jokes. This, that's all Roy, it takes. Coach, I'm all, it, listen, it take, I'm it take, only here it, for the it jokes. Take, yeah, it take, it take three corny niggas to get on there and be like, we hungry, Coach. We was hungry. We wasn't eating. He wasn't eating. You told me he should have went home. Well, well, he, that, that, he, he, he ain't home. never said he wasn't hungry though. He <laughs> he just laughed. He wasn't hungry. The, the future. He didn't say he wasn't hungry. Future, My G, why don't you tell him when I take people out to eat and we go out to eat, do I let anybody go hungry? The kid, Everybody. The eating. kids said they was running out on restaurants all types. <laughs> yeah, they said they was running out on restaurants. Right. All this illegal shit going on. 
And I'm not in jail. Ain't nobody, running, ain't nobody running out on See, that's the real shit. After all that doc shit, there was never a mention of, of jail time, charges. It was none of that. It was just like. Have you this, noticed that? It was just to smut your name. Have you noticed? Yeah. And guess what? They did a really good job on it. And I appreciate that because it's going to give me an opportunity to tell the other side of the story. I the, told you. In some aspects of life, I ain't shit. The next, and guess what? I got to explain that to my kids. The next five years for Coach Roy looks like what? A lot more football games, a lot more um, out in the radar, a lot more exposure, and a lot more shit talking. Like a lot more of that. I told you so. I told you. Can, can I come to a game? Listen, you have no idea when we I play again. To, when uh, we when we play again, you'll see it. And like I said, anytime you want to come look at the books and see what money we're making, I'm glad for you to come and take a look. At it. Why are you pointing at me? Like I'm the motherfucker. Nah, you the one that wanted nah, to look at all the books and shit. Nah, nah. The two the white right boys guy. in here staring at me. <laughs> <laughs> Two white boys in here staring at me. Yo, you know nah. what I mean? Him over there because I see it. Yeah, that, that like, when they do this right here. Remember, I took the, I took them body languages. I know what that is. <laughs> I know that? what that Dexter look you is. You did take the body what language. Is that? Yeah, when, when you do this right here, mm -hmm. is there, you don't believe not damn things out of my mouth. You like you, this is just all oh, talk. He do that just, a lot though. Yeah, he do that a lot. That's his thing. Yeah. Well, yo, all, he keeps showing me all the things. He, this is your um your reference proof guy. Yeah, because I got no problem. That's why I tell people all the time. You know, they were. Uh, they one, got their facts and all. One of the guy, one of the guys that they was do. In, yeah, one of the guys that was in there. Remember what he said? He was like, "Royal, tell you he's a liar because he thinks if he tells you that, that yeah, I tell people all the time, don't believe what I say, verify it because I lie, I lie to you. So if I tell you something and you don't believe it, you need to go check it out for yourself. You need to read. What's your What's your uh, his schooling history? Where'd you go? I went to Ohio State University. I went, and then after I went to Ohio State University. Uh, Again, just telling the truth, I was trash and walking on, and I, it just didn't work. So then I transferred, came back to Iona. I played I uh, football at Iona for a year. Uh, then I left Iona, went back, went to school at Ohio State, and I finished up there. And then in the meantime, when that was going on, my parents uh, decided to send my brother to play football in Ohio. He came and he crushed it. He then played at Ohio State. So then after my brother played at Ohio State, he does now uh, weight training and different stuff like that. He did a really good job. I got to be careful talking about my brother. He is mad when I don't tell that the hard work that he did. So he did all the work himself. <laughs> to put him in the position that he's in today. And he made my parents really proud. And uh, he actually, you know, because we don't talk as much because life goes on. It's funny. Um, I tell people pound for pound, he's the strongest person ever played at Ohio State. Oh, so you miss him? Oh, I'm a missing brother. Yeah, of course, man. We grew up like, I mean, we were tight. Me, him, his, uh, his uncles and all that. We all grew up tight, man. And that's, that's one of the things that I forgot to say that I always wanted to say. One of the things about um, the way I, reason I feel this way is because the guys in my neighborhood. The guys in my neighborhood, even now, you know what I mean? The ones that helped us come up, man, I can call them now. Like, the OGs in my neighborhood were something else, man, and I really appreciate them, man. The McGee family, uh, Bill, Norm, Evan, Johnny, these guys, they always looked out. And so I kind of felt uh, if I was the next one coming out, I'm, I'm going to look out, too. I just expanded it to multiple states. <laughs> they, they, they were just worried about the niggas on the corner. <laughs> so I expanded it, you know what I mean? But I'm an extremist. So you don't look to continue to be a liar. Like, is that something you... In, I'm going to continue to lie. Is that something that you want to improve on? <laughs> yeah, you're just saying you're going to continue to lie. Yes, man. I'm going to continue to lie because yeah. I'm so not perfect and I'm going to lie. Yeah, and everybody lies. And for anybody who sits up here and acts like they don't lie, the they, fact that they, they say lying. that makes them a lion. Yeah, so that's why I, I've come to the conclusion. I've tried to talk my way out of it all the time. So when people ask you, like, yo, do you lie? Yes. Do I've you, lied before. I'll go, we'll lie in the future. Yeah. Do you, I mean, play, I, do you play... Hold on. Is, do you play fantasy football? Like the real one? Nope. <laughs> 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 You don't play, all right? This dude. Yeah, right that here, was man. a good one. I'm good. Even even that was hey, fine. Right. I'm good at what I do. No, listen, he holding you back. Want. That was fine. He holding, yo, listen. <laughs> that that's fine. how I know you got a little bit of respect for me because you holding back on me because you could have really lit me no, up No, you my man. <laughs> you could have lit me up Yo, today. anybody that hey. takes the time to come visit us here, like, there is a certain respect. And, like, I'm glad. I'm, I'm happy that y'all come. I ain't trying to never have y'all Not just back. that. Yo, when, when, when you watch documentaries and they paint a certain picture, you still want to give somebody else an opportunity to address what they've said mm -hmm. and also potentially point in other directions like you did like yo yeah, yeah we did some bullshit but some good shit came out of what we did yeah absolutely. you said you sent 40 some, kids yeah, to college yeah that's, some, that's commendable some, 40 kids that came yeah. from marginalized communities that went that to college that are now going to college right I, and that and that part of it we did right but like i said and again because i refuse to just make this a joke thing all the time the things that we did wrong we're going to learn i'm going to take accountability for it and we're mm -hmm. going to improve you know what I mean? In my personal life, and not only that, in the football world, we will. But the things we did right, yeah, when it's time to talk about with it. Limited with limited resources. Say it again, with limited resources, man. You know what I mean? But you other go, than, watch, go watch this shit. You haven't watched it yet? Hold I didn't, on a second. I didn't watch it yet either. 
That don't surprise me. I did it. But, <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That was, that was, I'm about to fry your ass up, nigga. <laughs> you scared that's, ass, that's, nigga. That's, you come that's, up here with your fast talking <laughs> shit. We let you up here. I allowed you to talk man. fast, nigga, and I'm about to get at you. I fuck with you, nigga. Don't fast talk and shame me, no, nigga. Not. You got caught. I didn't. Or his hands go watch. I didn't get caught. You didn't get caught. He didn't get caught. That was a trap. He didn't get caught. He didn't get caught for it. He didn't get caught. I didn't get caught doing anything. How could you get caught doing nothing wrong? <laughs> but let me tell you this. this yeah. I got to tell you. Oh, shit. Oh, be careful, be careful, bro. Damn, bro. It's a good mic. Yeah. <laughs> Makes me feel a little funny now. But listen, this, <laughs> let me tell you why. Let me tell you why this is funny. I knew Bishop Sycamore was big. You know what I mean? When Big K says something, something, you a whore and your whole team fake, like Bishop Sycamore. Mm. Yeah. When I heard, when Big K said that, I was right. like, I was like, Mama, yeah, we made hello. it. <laughs> Better not talk about me, Mama. Mama. I knew I told I you. Did it. you name the high school? <laughs> Say what? Did you name the high school? Mm hmm. Did you come at the name from BS? Yeah, so people think that they came up with that. We already knew. You started it with the... <laughs> so this is what happened. What happened was um, the basis of the story, and this gets more into the, the Bible, the basis of the story is bishop. When you read in uh, the New Testament, bishop means an overseer. And so there's certain qualifications of a bishop. So when you came into the program, you could either take the bishop side mm -hmm. or you could take the Zacchaeus side, right? And so it was Bishop Zacchaeus. And then Zacchaeus' side is changing your views on it because Zacchaeus climbed the tree to get to see the Lord. So that was the whole thing. But I just kept saying, Bishop Zacchaeus, just don't even. And I was like, we can't call it Bishop Tree. I was like, Bishop Sycamore. Like, but those initials is BS. And I was like, you know Perfect. what? We, we got be him. on that BS. And I knew, yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew these suckers we couldn't stay away from it. We be on that BS, you know what I mean? I think and, the Coach Roy is, is, is somehow, in all this insanity, is a, is a marketing guru. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. What? I just wish he would use he won't use his talent for good. I'm trying to use my talent for good, man. You know what I mean? But people misunderstand, they don't understand me. You know what I'm saying? Just like we talk about Thanos, man. Sometimes half the planet gotta go. <laughs> Hold on, I'm with you there. Yeah. I'm with you. Sometimes half the planet gotta go. Thanos was right. Yeah. There's something so listen, you had to bring in you when you yeah, gonna open up a church, next, hey, Joe. hey, because it's no different than what Dion said. Remember what Dion said? Remember Dion said Dion said it. And I don't want to quote him because I don't I don't want him, I don't want anybody to think that I'm dragging him into this or anything like that. Cause I got a lot of respect for him and Coach Hart, and they're really, really, really doing something special. But Dion said it. Remember, he said, My D linemen, I want them to be, you know, 2.8 GPA, single mother homes, da 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 da. He got a lot of heat when he said it. Yeah. 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 And guess guess what? He got a he got he a lot of heat. He, whatever. He got a lot of heat when he said that. But there is some truth to that because you have to have a certain mentality when you're putting a team together. Sure. The hand can't do what the elbow does, the elbow can't do what the brain does, and there's certain parts of it. So when you're sitting up there and you in that you in that you in that 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 D line O line, smashing smashing hey, back back back. Hey, there. Yo, I want to agree with you, but I'm not going to take the heat for none of the shit. You said. <laughs> I didn't say it. Dion said it. They're going to fry saying is, me up. Yeah, I'm because good. guess what? I bet you if you did a, I bet you if you did a I psych did, evaluation. I don't or, even know the psych evaluation, but if you just did a simple assessment on D line men that were successful and you looked at those demographics because of that mentality, you know what I mean? They coming out to work a little bit differently. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm doing this for mom, I'm doing this for my family, yeah. you know what I mean? Stickers, yeah. Whereas the offensive lineman, that guy might be more of a protector, right? So you want that. That's that's just a simple assessment. And then that happens to reflect into demographics. And we all know that. That's mm -hmm. not saying anything that that's what I'm saying. I think he took a lot of heat from it because Simply like Bill Cosby said, you put it on a garbage lid when you hand it to everybody. You know what I mean? You got to keep it on a nice plate when you decide to serve it to people. And I think that was the issue with that. In, in closing, Coach Roy. We closing? <laughs> man, we didn't, we didn't talk about none of the other stuff you said we was going to talk about, man. What other stuff? Like what? All the other stuff that was in there. Like the PPP loans. And you said you didn't do it. Oh, yeah, but I thought y'all was going to really give me questions. Oh, he, like, he said he didn't do it. He here. said he didn't do it. I'm not yeah. going to press you if you said you didn't do it. I don't believe that for one word. <laughs> but <laughs> you I have 100 people. I 100% do not believe that you did not take the PPP loans out for the church members and say, take a percentage for the church and then donate the rest to my school. You were funding this mass operation somehow. For you so to even get the architect, nigga, so, to draw all of that so, $150 million looking shit. I'm you had a plan you, and I'm, you had I'm, money. Listen, Stop. I'm, I'm you was taking them loan. I'm, 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 listen, but you my listen, man, you say no, so it's no. No, listen, no. What I'm going to say is this. The, when, we did, when we did the church and we worked with the church, that was two, 2018. They dropped out in 2018. So when were PPP loans? 2020. 2020. Yeah, it was afterwards. Yeah, so I couldn't have been doing PPP loans then, now, could I? Well, they didn't run out of churches in 2020. Then another church popped up. 
I think you low key got a church. I think nigga. you got a church. You <laughs> have investors. <laughs> yeah. You have donations. You, you have you something somewhere. I don't think the Fiery Festival nigga got all that shit off. You my man. We had a little barn outside on the balcony. I ain't gonna do it to you. My man. We could talk about some skag being sold. Some skag. You think I have? No, 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 no. Don't start the rumors, man. Yo, no, we cut that out. We cut that out. Because them people, them people in Ohio, man. As much as I love Ohio, man, like the little, the little screech. That was following me around. Yeah, man, he'll start making up stories and typing his little heart out. Is he still? I said, take he's it still out at it. Already, no, no, is he, is he still at it with you? Of course. Yeah, I've never talked to him a day in my life. I'm, I'm saying, but is he still, still like following, following you, and making calls and shit, trying still, to make it tough for you out there? I'm, I'm assuming because I'm lifting weights, so he probably following me around. Lay Miz. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming he is. I don't know. I, the only reason I knew he was following me is, like I said, because coaches, the football community type. So mm. coaches would be like, hey, there's some dude saying that we shouldn't play you because blah, 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 blah. And I'd be like, I don't know who that is. Are you still is. getting those calls, though? Like, now? Nah, people don't really call me now because now next time we do our schedule, when we play, if we play this year, we'll definitely play in the spring. But if we play, you know, I'm going to be a little bit more careful about. Okay. Well, I 100% want to come to a game. When you guys, we um, I'm oh, working on it. I'm working on. I'm, listen, I'm 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 working on a game, and I'm gonna make sure you get it because, like I said, one of the things that I respect I about you guys, play. old Joe, no, we could be the uh, color coordinators. I might even play in this. What did game. you say? You gonna be the color coordinator? Watch your mouth. <laughs> hey, you can't, yo, you can't say that. that. You can't even say that. What is he talking about? The, the, the color coordinator. What, what do you mean? Yeah. Oh, Colored man. coordinator. Colored. Colored. <laughs> <laughs> on it. Hey, man, make it clear. Oh, oh, man, yeah, you gotta be yeah, careful around stupid, here, man. Listen, yo. but anyway, one of the things that I'm telling you, I respect is that you guys just give up both sides of the story. You know what I'm saying? Got and you. I respect that. We have to. You know what I mean? And so when we do, especially today, we um, especially today. So when we uh. We take a time to uh, figure out what game we play, whether we end up playing a team in Harlem or we play a team in Long Island and stuff like that. I'll fly to the game. I, I want to make sure. No, I want to make sure it's here. You know what I mean? Because this is where I started. So mm -hmm. I want to make sure that you guys are there. But more importantly, because um, you guys have no idea how happy Calvin, Josh Bogan, they are gonna be to hear their names associated with y'all. You know what I mean? Y'all pay Bosco? Nah, bro. They they serious. Oh, IMG is serious. They serious. <laughs> IMG is man Don serious. Bosco. Don Bosco, they serious. Do you, what do you have to say in closing? Man, it's in, terrible. In man, this I camera, had so much fun, man. And this, no, we did too. Come on, clap it up for Coach oh, Roy, no, no, man. No, 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 no. Are you shitting me? Things, clap friend. it up for fucking Coach Roy, man. Yeah. Well, I'm so glad that you came. In closing, do you have anything to say to your supporters and your detractors out there? Um, and in and camera no, one, that, that, right, 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 right there, right, right there. Camera right, three, the red light was over there. All right, right there. <laughs> Stop so, my for all the supporters, I talked to them about the guys from my neighborhood that uh, kept the belief that's going on. For Demon and his family, uh, for all the players that are playing college and fought through all the mistakes that I made, mm -hmm. I want to apologize because you guys, big. um, you guys deserve better, and uh, I don't need a bunch of people on Twitter to tell me that. Because guess what? You know, if you're not going to give 110%, then you might as well not do it at all. And then I did cut some corners and I did do some things in the name of keeping the program alive and stuff like that. And that wasn't right. And that hurt a lot of people. That hurt a lot of families. You know what I mean? And then, and I'm really sorry about that. And for the people that have a problem with what I did, you know, I will do better. And for the people that don't understand that or believe it's bullshit, they can eat a dick. Clap it up for Coach Ray. A man of honor. You gotta make you gotta make merch. No, we don't do merch, man. Uh, wow. You gotta do merch. We don't do merch because then you guys are gonna say I'm taking money for the merch and now I'm that's a fact. No, but if that's you're taking the money for the merch, <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 that's that, not true. Hey, that's that the first thing. I'm saying. Nah, that's not that, true. Because if you're merch. taking the merch money and you dumping it back into the program, that's then that's idea. a viable so way of putting food, people to do, well, food in the kids' no, 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 bellies, right. man. So the first, the first thing I want some other than oatmeal with the carrots. Listen, listen. This is what I want you to do. Listen, George. You, you heard what happened. You heard what happened to the guy that broke into my car, right? Yo, no. No, oatmeal, <laughs> oatmeal with the carrots in it. <laughs> so, uh, for the first thing I want people to do is go to nationalhighschoolfootball.com, and so they can go in there and they can find out what's going on and kind of get an insight about what's going on. And then uh, I don't really know, man. I'm gonna have to come up with something, man. Where we sell merch and stuff merch. like that. But you want to hear something interesting? I still got to put in. I'm, I'm dropping back off to you. I bought you. Uh, I bought you two jerseys. The honorary number 33 jersey. Say, and I where's my shit? It's where in my car. No, give, oh, it's in the car? Yeah, but I, really, I got to put them in frames for you, so I was going to get that done and drop it back off. 
No, nigga, give me my jersey. I'm wearing my jersey. <laughs> I'm wearing my jersey. You, I, brought, I brought you number 25. Uh, it was to our linebacker. His name is uh, Miles. He went to Akron. And then uh, the 33, nobody was allowed to wear because 33 was my number and my brother's number. So I refused to let anybody on a football team wear 33. Okay. okay. I'm not mad at I that. I think one fat guy got to wear it one time because we had to. But other than that, yeah, that was, that was never <laughs> issued to anybody. So I brought you that jersey out of respect. That's my number. Thank you, man. Three times three is nine, Yo. and I'm a nine path. July 2nd, 1980. I'm a nine path. You're a nine? Oh, yeah, nine look path. Up nine. Yeah, I'm you six. Eight. What's up, no? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what that means, right? Yeah, I know what I mean. Yeah, 69. Listen. Yo, listen, yo, hey, Coach Roy, <laughs> Coach, hey, Coach Roy, you, you have to say some crazy. You have a seat here <laughs> whenever you want to come up I here. Appreciate give that, it man. up for fucking Coach Roy, ah, legend, the fucking the legend up in here. The yeah, fucking kids. Oh yeah. man, Coach Roy, scam a hall of fame. Listen. Come on, man, they can't fuck with us. You know the scam good, but they can't even prove the scam. He's mm. a fast talking nigga. What? Boy. Man, listen. It's tough to get him. Dog, you asked, I forgot you asked him something and he he spun the whole Skip conversation with to his brother. <laughs> I wasn't he was like, oh no, you asked him about school. You asked him about his school. And he was like, yeah, my brother, my brother, my brother. I was like, I don't give a fuck about your brother, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> what? Nigga what? Just... Man, let's get to the dirt. Nah, he's Shout he... out to Coach Roy. Thank you. He flew up here for this, man. I appreciate him. I appreciate him. That's dope. A lot of people yeah, that kicked, was dope. A lot of people kicked his back in, didn't give him a chance to get his shit off. Let him get his shit off. Huh? Let the scam is shine, man. <laughs> uh, America, Jack. All right, flip his back. You done? You was on the phone. I kept hearing you say representative real loud. <laughs> in the phone. That's personal business. <laughs> <laughs> I have to get my shit right when I deal with you. Oh, <laughs> oh, you're such a baby. <laughs> yeah, you're such a fucking hey, yo, baby. I ain't call, we, we yo, you're did, such a we, baby. Yo. You got it. We I gotta speak, get my shit right when I deal with you. We, we, we ain't speak to each other. We know what time it is. Like, we both know. Like, that's, that's unspoken riz. Like, we both know what time it is. We both know what it's here for. You know, and, and, and as my man, you, you know me, as my, and I know you. So we're just gonna be professionals and work. I'm here to work, baby. I'm here to work and so, make the business. Make, um, I'm, I'm not here to discuss. Are that. you negotiating? Why are you in contract? No, nah, I'm not. Nego- I'm not negotiating anything. Oh, you I, my man. You my man. I'll sue the shit out of Rifkin, nigga. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, and I notice you do that. You, you yeah. bring up. I, I put you on the stuff. You bring it up on camera to sort of like like throw a, a dagger through it, and, and it's purposely done because I want to see if you do it. So when it's time, I could just. And it's not a crack over the head. It's a sledgehammer. Bow, you can't nigga. possibly believe I want to throw a dagger in anything possible. Why are you bringing it? Why you bringing those names up? It's just funny. And I have a relationship with him as well. I didn't know that. You should shut me down. You don't know I have a relationship with Steve Rifkin? No. Oh, why do? Put me on. Oh, yeah, you don't put people onto your business. Hey, hey what's up, man? You think I'm Coach Roy? What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> nah, I don't think you could. You think I'm Coach just, Roy? There's a few niggas out there think I'm Coach Roy. I'm not. Nah, I don't think you could. They blogging, though. We, we gave them a lot to talk about. And as I told that the people, great. as I told the people that, you know, when I speak about something online, you know, we already took care of it behind the oh, scenes already. It. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking about the uh, coach shit. No. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was my dream come true. Watching something, having questions about what I see, mm-hmm. and then being able to ask the person directly attached to what I saw. Yeah, you don't usually get You to ain't get that. no answers, nigga. <laughs> so? Oh, right. There's an answer and no answer. True. True. Indeed. I got mad answers. It's got his answer. Coach Roy! I can tell you about what I believe. I can tell you too. It told us. I can tell you about what I believe. Right now, what I believe. But, you know, that's, that's cool. That's Coach Roy right there. Oh, All right, you're done with the representative, right? Uh, Bell's back. Hey, Big Mel. Big Mel, what the fuck they talking about? Uh, straight back from Harlem. Little Harlem brownstone. Get your little pillow, girl. Hello. Uh, speaking of football, speaking of football, in our CTE segment of this show, <laughs> so I bring to you Sergio Brown. Sergio Brown is the former NFL player who was reported missing along with his mother. They did a wellness check at his mother's house, found the mom deceased in the backyard. Mm -hmm. So naturally, we all thought that Sergio Brown, something bad probably happened to him as well. Mm -hmm. Well, he was on Wi-Fi and saw people worried about his whereabouts and looking for him with this missing persons thing. And he put a picture up and put a little live up, a little video up to say, yo, I don't know who's saying I'm missing, but I'm right here. 
He later deleted the video once he learned that his location was posted in the video. Where was his location? Mexico City. Did he address his mom being deceased in the backyard during... Mel, if he addressed that, then we would have a different conversation right now. Okay, okay, okay. This is us using our, hey, I know one and one is two. This just sounds a little CTE-ish, and I wanted to highlight it because what the fuck are you doing? And the news cycle continues to get worse and worse and worse as the year moves faster and faster. The years move faster and faster and faster. Also, in news, in piece of shit people news, the, the reparations committee in New York City, I'll allow a brief moment of silence. I didn't know either. <laughs> Who the fuck knew that? But apparently there's a reparations committee. Okay. And the first order of business is to knock down some of these statues, starting with Columbus Circle, Christopher Columbus. Oh. There's a George Washington statue that they're talking about knocking down. This is all chitter-chatter for now, but mm -hmm. I thought it was important. Clap it up for the reparations committee. Okay. Now, lastly, on our last order of business on the docket, we have Easy to Block Captain versus Geechee Got. Well, we have Geechee Gotti versus Easy to Block Captain and or Remy. Mm. I saw this battle bright and early this morning. I hit the DM. Somebody sent me a link. Salute, salute, salute. Keep it low. You can send those to me. Future. I reference. watched it seven times. I'll send it your way. Yeah. I watched it seven times. I'm just waiting for, for, for Ice. You were right. About. Stop it. Knock it off. There's nothing to knock off. I told Easy when he was here. And every time it was mentioned, he did not stand a chance against like you. Kichi. You are only right because, no, easy to block captain coming off a scandal could not beat Geechee. I don't care. We didn't address the scandal part when we was talking about it. I don't care. I was talking about skill-wise, easy to block captain can 100% stand in front of Geechee Gotti. And skill-wise, he proved he can. Mm. But what? I mean, he did pretty good, but... He did easy to block captain. He didn't look no different than what we've seen him in he, previous he, he, battles. He, he, he well, didn't look, he didn't there's, just, there's just scandal involved It's attached now. to him. Yeah, but that, that says... And you can't be one of the best battle rappers in recent years with scandal, especially when that scandal has to do with you getting the fucking brakes beat off you. You got the brakes beat off you. Yeah, but easy. And battle rap, whether it's a rumor or not... That is enough. You hear what Easy said. And that was all Geechee Gotti needed. So which part? You hear what Easy said in the first round. If a nigga do something to me over, over, over a woman and nothing that means happened. I'm still with the female. Yeah. That, it, now stop. That don't do it. Yeah, that don't get it done. Yeah, no, that I'm just saying. Do no, I don't think he, I don't think that don't, he, that don't. Prove, Hold on, I'm not. I, that don't prove or disprove anything. It don't really address nothing. He doing some clever battle rap shit. Yeah, I agree. But it's not time for clever battle rap it's shit. It's not at all. Was there an affair? Did you get beat up? Did you fight back? Did you swing back? Was you knocked out? Where was your niggas at? Unfortunately, I, we got some of these answers from Geechee Gotti. Yo, you good. You my man. I love you. <laughs> and Geechee Gotti said. This nigga crazy. Yep. And on the ride back home, your man said, I'm sorry I wasn't there. And then you said to your man, man, don't be sorry. It's not your fault. That sounds factual, even if it's not. I, I, I'm just happy that battle rap is back into the, you know, back in big news outlets again. Whether whatever is attached to it, I'm happy. Hopefully. Look what it took for it to happen. I mean, I'm happy. I'm happy. I think it's dope. Uh, you know, they both did a great job, but I feel like Geechee took it due to the fact of the stink that Easy the Black Captain had on him, mm -hmm. and Geechee took advantage of that, and then Geechee went at Remy, and he was the able. Bold, that was bold. That was bold and brave. Extremely bold, very and bold. That's the owner of the league you battling on. Yeah, and I thought I thought it was a clever move, and I thought that you know, I thought that Geechee took the victory due to, you know, the he setup. Said, and nigga, I'm together. doing Chrome 23. I'm right after here. Yeah, I'm, I'm going, going to do to smack. Yeah. At the end of the month, I got King of the Dot. I got this. I got so that. Who really, who do, really do what they want? Uh huh. Who really do what they want? Who really do what they? Don't worry, man. Dog. Dog. <laughs> dog. dog. NDA, nigga, duck at least. He had just a bunch of lines in there that was just breaking this man down. Everybody's going crazy over the third round. I thought the third round was more 
shock value. I know that's important for battle rap, and it mm -hmm. was a killer third round. The second one was the one. The second one ended him. The second round was the best round of the night from both battlers. Easy tried to do the all the tea that he got. About him. He clearly got yeah. tea and research. He brought up the niggas, co-defendant, cases, yeah. how long he, he, he was he, in jail. He, he, accused, he, he accused Geechee Gotti of, of basically writing a statement. And Geechee, he said that, Geechee, you didn't do any time, but it was for you. And your mans did time and you didn't. He tried to paint him like a mutt. Yeah, like, 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 tried to paint yeah. him like a all the way mutt, but the fashion in which it was done, it, it just seemed real gossipy. Yeah. It seemed real, I'm spilling tea. It seemed like there was less focus on the construction of this material. Yeah. Versus just saying the material. And you know how that looks. When Geechee Gotti goes, he rebuts the, the his whole round in the first four bars. All of that uh, dead be dad shit that he was saying about me. So my like, kids live with me. He was me. like, yo, you spoke to one of my baby moms. I got three I baby got three. moms and my kids live with me. Do your fucking research. And boy, that shuts down all that shit that yep. you was just saying. And then his that. man came up and said, I'm your co-defendant. And then his, his co man came up. Yo, I'm his co-D. We, we took, took the same deal. deal. Yeah. We don't want to hear none of that shit you talking about. See, that shit Easy the Block Captain was doing was rapper shit, and he's a good rapper. That shit Geechee was doing sounded like there was merit involved. That shit was surgical. It sounded, it was a clinic up there. He broke, he broke him all the way down. If you have not seen this bad line, I encourage you to watch Geechee Gotti versus Easy the Block Captain, Chrome 23, that was out in Camden. Mm -hmm. What do y'all think about some of the salacious shit, about him turning the rim, talking to her? Him saying, yo, Pap, that's how you talk to you. I won't do that. That's my sister. But how do you feel about it? It's battle rap. Remy is a battle rapper. So I think I think that she understands the assignment. And all press helps her. True. All of this press helps her. I was crying, bro. Remy looked like she was in a Southwest Airlines commercial. Like the want to get away. Like she didn't. It was uncomfortable. She used to it. You know, battle rap come from that. You're right. But she See, looked uncomfortable, I'm about, dog. Now I'm about she to sound like, like I'm putting my cape on. commercial to me, like she wanted to punch his ass in the face. I'm just saying, in the, in the, the, like the clips I saw, away. it looked that way. In what? every clip I saw, it looked like Remy appeared to be uncomfortable and like she wanted to steal off. She wanted to steal him. Mm -hmm. In the whole battle, it didn't look like that to me. I'm talking about that whole third Actually, round. Actually, right after that third round ended, Remy brought both battlers to center stage to say, hey, before anybody goes anywhere, right. let's get a first a first reaction to how y'all feel about this battle. Like, she was still... Mm -hmm. Professional. Professional. She's still in... Yeah. in Business mogul mode. Yeah. yeah. But when you don't know them lines are coming and you stand in there, I, it's, it hits you I a little I don't know that Can she I didn't show know you those something? lines are coming. Can I show you something? I don't, I don't know that. But I, didn't, I don't know that she didn't know those lines That's were true. coming. That's true. You're right. Or Because in Geechee's round... It, I'll tell you this because I know you didn't see it. In Geechee's round, in round three, he says... Yo, do you think I would be saying any of this stuff if I didn't speak to Pat? That's, okay. Like, you know, I, you know I spoke to Pat, right? So I don't know that he didn't have a, a conversation with Pat and Remy to say, yo, I respect y'all too much. There's some shit going on, but it's battle rap. It's I have to get rap, my shit off. Get it. But it don't even matter. Just the optics of it. Mm -hmm. It don't even matter. The optics of that went crazy. But mm -hmm. I have to think that Pat is aware of all of this because Pat ain't the person that you do that to. Correct. And, and my and me knowing Pat and you and you know Pat. and Rim is not the person that you do that to, yeah. but and you know that about them. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm. I'm so I'm, if I'm, you're I'm, doing that, I, I I'm speculating. I'm assuming they knew. You think they didn't? You think they didn't on her card? No, I don't think I, I don't think that he. Uh, I think he spoke to Pat because I spoke to Pat as well. Y'all niggas are oh. chatty patties and battle. <laughs> no, not, not, not about that. I'm just saying I spoke to him. I called them Thunder Hands, but. Um, I don't think that um, I don't think that he told Remy he was going to do that. No, if you watch Remy's, Remy's expression, you know you can see. And Remy, Remy's a professional, so she know how to make it, make it do what it do. But I don't think that he let her know that he was going to do that the third round. See, I got real questions, and none of them I think I can ask on a broadcast when it comes to my my sister and husband. Yeah, we can't. Yeah, not, not at all. I, we, we, I, I got some, them. I got yeah. other questions. Hey, I want to show you something though. Show me something. Let me see it. Come on, let's see. I'll keep the audio broadcast moving while you show me some shit. I saw that. I saw that. I saw that. I see it all. Come on. That look kind of crazy. He ain't cause me and you know you my man. So we gotta we gotta do what's right, and we gotta say that we gotta do what's right. At the same time, salute the Remy, salute the Pep. I think that's none of our business. Whatever's going on between them personally, I think it's just battle rap. And easy to block. Captain came up short because he was not able to capitalize or address it properly or get ahead of it 
before this battle. Yo, I want to address. I want to address you. Uh, the the JBTV uh, X Live. You know that shit y'all be doing on Sundays. I come in there, I ain't missed one yet. But y'all are perceptive fans, right? So when I come in there, y'all start sending smoke, talking about why we didn't press Tyrese about such and such. Why we didn't press Stephen A about such and such. Why we didn't press... Is some of y'all out there, a young lady, I, I won't say your name, but y'all be wanting certain things from us that I'm never going to give. I try to explain in there that some of these people that come up here we know and have real relationships with, mm -hmm. they tried to press me Sunday about us not asking uh, Frito Bang about NBA Youngboy. Why will we do that? That's the same exact thing I said to them. I said, NBA, uh, Frito said uh, mad Fredo. shit. Fredo said mad shit. I never say Fredo. Ew, I hate Fredo. I like okay. Frito. Okay. Bigger than that, that was his most personable interview that we had seen to date. We talked about who no, the individual was. No, he's talking to was. us off mic yeah. about real shit real that's going shit, yeah. on. Any human with a heart ain't waiting till the camera get on to start asking none of that bullshit y'all want niggas to ask. The same is true for Rem and Pat, right? Whatever you think is going on and none of us know. None of it is confirmed. Facts. I know them. Facts. Good, like good I, friends of the show. Good friends outside of the outside. show. That's what I mean. Right. I'm saying mm -hmm. in real life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's not one of those entertainment for play play things. Two. One, I've also had relationship problems and tried to manage them shits while I was in the viewing public. That shit is not easy. Talk mm -hmm. about it. Mm -hmm. I don't know that they going through that, so I won't speak to that. But if they were, that shit is tough. Mm -hmm. That shit is tough. Neither one of them would I speak to them about it. If you keep it in private, you keep it in private. If that's what they're doing. You see Tiana Taylor just came out. Ah, 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 ah. Mm -hmm. Y'all stop talking about my best friend. Boy, do I love when black women do that. Clap it up. You don't have to be with your husband. You don't have to be with your partner. Hey, the rest of y'all in the viewing public, back up off my children's dad and my best friend. We not together because things didn't work and y'all didn't know because that was none of y'all fucking business. But now that y'all are taking pictures and audio recordings and spotting him out with women, I'll tell y'all for the safety and fairness of all people involved. Y'all ain't got to know every fucking thing. Shout out to Yana for that. Shout out to I can't imagine. I ain't been married yet, but shit, being married and then working on separation? Mm. Yeah. Come and on, you got kids. Come on, man. Mm -hmm. I went to Miami one time when I was trying to do some fuck shit on <laughs> sin and walk down fucking Collins. Here come a bunch of fucking sin Santana. Oh, shit, your buddy with a girl. <laughs> your buddy with a girl. Who's that bitch? Who's that bitch? That's not sin. That's not sin. It it's hard. Jesus. It's hard to do, I'm telling you. You got to move low, 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 low. That's not sin. No shit, bitch. Keep it moving. The fuck? Look, trigger it again. That, no, no, that, I'm sorry, big man. No, it's okay. That I got be, real but quick. I agree with you. That being I said. fucking business. We're going to do shit at home. Yeah. Well, besides that. That being said, it's really easy to armchair quarterback in hindsight. Once you see something and said, I would have done this, I would have done that. And it's no, it's no, not. You when you want <laughs> when you want people to come up here, you want them to feel like it's somewhat of a safe space. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to completely like blow everything up, you know, blow up your relationship with these people. There's plenty of outlets yeah. that do that shit. We're not one exactly. of them. That, that's that's what the point. blogs do but all look, day long. Yeah. That's the other shit. They asking shit of us that they wouldn't do. Exactly. They, well, they think that they would because they're no, they, armchair they, quarterbacking. Yeah, they wouldn't do that shit. If you sit down right next to somebody think, sitting there start think, asking all of the... Come on, I think man. a lot of people, uh, they're in it for the clickbait. Yes. Right? Yeah. But I knew about Iman and Shump, I mean, Tiana and Shump for months, right? And I never went and blogged about it or talked about it because it's none of my business. And they're my friends. And I just feel like you have to have some sort of moral and principle when it comes to this media game. And a lot of people don't have it. They don't. You know they'll I mean? do anything, anything they, they, for the clip. They always say, I would have did this. I would have did that. Oh, if it's out there, let's talk about it. No, people go through a lot of things at home. It's, and it's hard to navigate in the public eye when you're a public figure if you're going through a situation and at you home. you shouldn't have to. But, it, but that's you just, should not that's have just, to. That's just what comes with the territory. If you and your girl not together and y'all going through it and you want a bitch to cut, excuse me, you want a woman to cut in your crib and get some pussy and y'all have an understanding... You shouldn't have to sneak and duck and all that shit. You should, but yeah. you ain't got to do all that. Like that. I'm, I'm a no by, by, by uh, how much weight you lost. 
Some niggas don't this, lose weight. This science is going to let me some know niggas, what time it is. Some niggas gain weight. Well, then there's that. Yeah, yeah, facts. Hey, well, your cheeks looking cheeky, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> looking, hey, looking happy in the face. Nigga, what happened? You ain't getting... Fuck is going you on. You gaining weight with some leaning ass Nikes, nigga. <laughs> you, you going through divorce, nigga? Very rarely, though, do a nigga <laughs> leave his mane and bump into the side that's cooking better. <laughs> Fact. Side bitches don't be trying to get right in that kitchen right away. They want to go to Brooklyn Chop House a few times first. Yeah, they don't try to get in the kitchen right away. Yeah, yeah, no, not at all. They ain't not trying to get in the kitchen at all. What the fuck? Yeah, that's true too. But I'm satisfied. I don't have anything that's burning a hole in my soul that I have to get out, man. I don't. I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't. I'm cool. I'm cool. Salute. Again, shout out to Coach Roy. Shout out to y'all, man. Nothing is possible without y'all. Fuck these niggas talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Our sleeper segment is brought to you by Amp. Pew, 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 pew. Um, how's that for no ass? Shout out to Amp. Check me out on Amp every Monday and Thursday from 5 to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Real good pod today. I want to shout y'all out there. Shout out y'all out there. We still on positive vibes. We still on positive affirmations. Keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Keep Coach Roar in your uh, prayers, too. Until next time, we bid you adieu. Farewell, adios, arriba, dirty, hasta la vista, au revoir. So long, goodbye. Life is a series of moments and moments pass. It go. And moments pass, so let's make this one last. And lastly, the baddies are insecure. The stagnant women want to travel. And the closed-minded women want you to teach them things. Grab you a title and all you might need it. Yo, know, you hear her? She realized that somebody else's guy. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got her. We got her. fucking got her got again. Him. You, you Jezebel. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Harley. Sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. What you mean? I'm just ad libbing. No, 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 no. What you mean by that? What you mean that. by that? Smell on that. What you mean by that, though? But you looked excited to ad lib yeah, with it. You I said whoopsie. What you mean somebody else's guy whoopsie? Outro. I thought that y'all be hurt too when you meet an amazing guy and learn that he's actually got somebody. Y'all don't be hurt. Oh, of course. So why are you champion this? I oh, you God. know what? Put the play the music, guy. Damn it. I'm sorry. Thank you. I think these chicks out here be hype when it's somebody else guy. Depending on who the guy is. <laughs> hey, hey! Come on out there, clap along in the car. Hey, hey, <laughs> and I realize. I'm somebody else's guy. Hey, go ahead. Hey. Hey. Put your ad lib hey. in there. Hey, hey. hey Corey hey. Brown. Already? That what? That nigga stupid ass, ass nigga. Why you strong? You strong as shit, but you're Why is you this strong? <laughs> yo, Dodo head ass yo, nigga using stupid, his strength yo. to end the pod. <laughs> Just say <stupid, laughs> yo. <laughs> that nigga been doing them shits, curls. He been Yo, you're a fool. Oh, yo. shit. <laughs> that remind me. I tried to play fight with my girl last week. <laughs> That bitch is fucking strong. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch is strong. Yo, He's yo. strong as hell. Yo, this nigga's like, you can't <laughs> run around, you know what I mean? <laughs> yo, you really out of breath. Nigga, you, you strong. strong. Yo, one of these young niggas is going to jump on your ass. I don't live my life in that manner. <laughs> You're right. Do remember. <laughs> Shout out to Benny in the collar. See him, see him, see him. See him. <laughs> Benny, 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 Benny. <laughs> Benny, Benny. <laughs> Shout out to Julian. Hey. On top of the collar, see him with the shirts. <laughs> hey. Julian, he pressed the shirts in the collar. See him. <laughs> Julian, Julian, Julian. <laughs> I thought he was shouting niggas out of tape. 165, 165. Jamaica, ah, ah, ah. That reverb, right, Mark? That shit. Parks heard more clue tapes than ish, and I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> we out of here, y'all. Hold it down, man. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed this broadcast as much as we enjoyed delivering it to you. 
Same time, same place this weekend, man. Y'all hold it down. Peace, love, health, wealth, and prosperity. Avoid scammers at all costs. Bye. Uh, enough of daddy. No, Joe Biden.